I'm Jackson. This is a recap of Chaosium Stream of Chaos, Episode 1 of A Cold Fire Within. Our investigators are members of Atlas, an occult society for the descendants of the city of Atlantis. Uh, we have William Vanderven, a socialite, Jose Castillo, his bodyguard, Edie Chong, a mechanic, and Nick DiMartino, a police detective, were all in attendance. We were approached by Melody Sterling, a member of the club, who was concerned about the disappearance of her husband, Brendan. Brendan had packed for a weekend camping trip last Thursday, but is still missing as of the current uh, Wednesday. Jose had fallen. He'd fall Jose had heard he'd fallen in with the League of Forgotten Men, a mysterious faction, and Ferdinand Argus, a purported hypnotist. As we investigated Argus's office, we were suddenly enveloped by a yellow mist and found ourselves swept away to another world. Hello and welcome to the Stream of Chaos. We are Chaosium's official live play channel and we play Call of Cthulhu. Now before we jump into today's game of A Cold Fire Within, let's meet our cast. Uh, Jim, kick us off. Certainly. Hello, I am uh, Jim. I am playing Jose Castillo. A uh, little about me. I am uh, the digital content producer at uh, uh, Chaosium and most recently in the last episode of the stream I shoved a desk away only to be surrounded by a strange gaseous drug and fall unconscious. Yeah, that'll learn you. Yeah. Hey, I'm Jackson. I'm a Melbourne based actor with excellent pronunciation. <laughs> uh, and RPG event host. And I'm playing William Vanderven, uh, a very wealthy socialite and man about town. When we last saw William, he had just uh, talked and charmed his way into the office of a person of interest uh, in a missing person case. And again, was enveloped by this 
freaky green mist. You too? I know. What are the odds? I'm making a bad habit of this. <laughs> Hi, uh, my name is Rachel. I am an engineer by day and I also stream on Twitch sometimes. I am playing Edith Chiong. I am a mechanic that does freaky weird science stuff and last time I was hanging around I also fell victim to the the guess what send you to scary place so we'll see what happens there. Yeah, good good summary. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm Daniel. Uh, I'm a professional bartender and an unprofessional RPG player and actor. Uh, I'm playing uh, Detective Nick DiMartino who is a detective with the New York City Police Department. Uh, I was the only one not with these guys when the green, with the, when the mist enveloped them. However, hearing my friends in danger, I rushed and succeeded on very dangerous roles to burst into the room only to be enveloped by mist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm David. I also do some role-playing games. I write some stuff, but on this, I am the Keeper of Arcane Lore, which means I get to decide when we start the game. So let's jump back in. Um, so... As you guys all rushed into this room inside the house of Ferdinand Argus, um, you were chasing after Percy Langhorn, his assistant, who had run into the room, and you weren't able to see him, thinking he may have made a run through one of the windows, or, as your current suspicion may have been, a trapdoor hidden beneath the, uh, the rugs of the floor. You push back one of the desks, um, and uh, sort of slits inside the, inside the walls opened up and yellow mist began to flood out into the room. Just as Detective Nick uh, burst through the door to join all of you, it began to roil up towards your noses and as you sort of struggled to, to block them, you were forced to inhale and you began to see the floor sort of slide away from you, the decks expanding up along the wall in front and then your vision went to black and you slammed down onto the ground. As you begin to each blink your eyes back into consciousness, you find the colours smeared all across you and strange sort of glows and, and, and a large globule that uh, encompasses the largest point of your field of vision. As you slowly begin to sort of squeeze your eyes and eventually stumble back onto your feet, you find that you are standing on a large rock or asteroid with strange sort of chunks of moss or, or, or sort of plant life um, enveloping it and in the distance the large form of a planet deep yellow with hues of sort of brown and, and mustard colors that stain its entirety you sort of look around you, you pat yourself down you're not wearing the clothes you were wearing when this happened you're dressed in these long flowing white robes Wait. with deep like shoulder pads that jut out to the sides and your um any any sort of piercings or earrings glasses are all gone as well in the distance you can see a number more of these rocks continue to circle around the planet and in the distance on one of them an oddly familiar door it's the same one that you saw when you first knocked on to enter Ferdinand Argus's home and office and it's slightly ajar and through it you can see the entrance way now before you can begin to look around you hear this sort of like growling meow from behind you and as you whirl around you can see on a distant another one of these asteroids are six of these strange creatures they look like vaguely cat shaped at least but they seem to be filled with sort of like swirling color and different shifting hues that makes it impossible to get an, a, a beeline on the exact silhouette or outline of the creatures at first they seem to have four legs but then as they move forward rather than actually dragging themselves along the asteroid they are they are occupying more legs sort of push out occupying an area and then slide back into the form as they advance they're currently surrounding the uh collapsed form of percy langhorn who doesn't seem to be moving now I'm gonna need some sanity rolls from all of you because this is some this is some wacky and goofy stuff. What the heck? Yeah. I'm take my, yeah. I'm gonna take my dice from the magic hand. Can't. Yeah, that makes sense. What's my sanity? 65. I rolled a 63. So I'm good. Scrape a success. Yeah, this is cool. I rolled. <laughs> 98. Oh, that's oh, all right. Yeah, not great. Not Did great. You you, I, barely, I barely succeeded to not the worst roll. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, got a zero two. Oh, so you? All right, so you're very much succeeded. I love very much that succeeded. end of the table oh, is sort of very, very like, <laughs> swingy. <laughs> what did you get? I got ninety three. Okay, all right. So the two is of you failed. Fumble? That is a fumble. So uh, you are going to take the maximum, which of a d four is four points of sanity loss. 
Um, Nick, can you roll a d4 and reduce your sanity yes, accordingly? Oh, I will need a d4. I'm going to take right. off a bit of my costume here. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to get it for you? Yeah, why not? Yeah. <laughs> Stay in character. You know what? Stay so, in character. Um, Don't you've break! you had a, almost, like, a pretty visceral reaction to this. What are you doing immediately? What's your first instinct? Uh, I would mumble to oh. myself, well, I, I believe we've had a run-in with the Reaper. Reaper PTP, that is, who's just subscribed <laughs> oh. uh, and is now on a five month subscription streak. Yay. So thank you, the, the Reaper. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, Reaper. Yep, um, so you, you believe this is your you, I, journey I beyond the veil? Yeah. yeah. I and you begin to pat yourself. I mean, you're dressed in, it's not like, you know, pristine white, but there are these white robes that flow and it's all yeah. very strange. And yeah, perhaps this is the afterlife. Wow. Yeah. Um, you, Nick. I rolled a one. Okay, so you're shaken, but not immediately ajar. What is first instinct from anyone? These creatures have seemed to have taken notice of you, but they're still beginning to prowl around um, Langhorn's form, and one of them sort of leans down, and you can see it's there's no mouth, but there's an open maw with a cosmos of swirling teeth within it. It cups around his leg as if sort of suckling on it, and then you see meat and flesh begin to sort of like slough off, being drawn into the creature's open maw. Uh, that is behind you, and then before you, over a number of these rocks, is this open door then there's a large planet occupying your view um i would like to draw my service revolver and yell and as you go for it you find nothing there you're dressed in these like the robes and everything on you oh. appears to be missing unfortunately you're oh, unarmed no. at the moment uh, additionally I, I would like to continue to yell <laughs> your gloves are missing as well Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Um, I, that's I, not good i would like to yell at the um creatures uh, NYPD <laughs> <laughs> Don't move <laughs> Okay So you're going to draw attention to them And attempt to force them to stand down And surrender to arrest or investigation Apparently yes yeah, Alright fantastic <laughs> Are there any like Bushes or like There's trees? like little uh, There's outcroppings of fungus And what look like rotting weeds or something mm. But they're not It's very sparse And you're also I mean you're on a planetoid you seem to be breathing okay, that's good, and it appears to have some gravity, although as soon as you begin to move, it's sort of like oh. a little bit, and you can feel the rock almost pushing back a little bit under you as you move towards the next one. Is there like a like a taste in our mouths of like oxygen or some sort, or is it just, is there a weird smell? Can it's, we smell the ma- Yeah, that's a good idea. Make an, um, make a, what are you trying for? Are you, anything in particular? I'm, I'm, just, sort of, just, I'm just sort of idly curious. I'm okay, yeah, uh, make, make, make a natural world out. check. Okay. Um, but apart from that... Think, oh yeah. Ah, uh, mm. fail. Okay, yeah. Ah, uh, look, it seems relatively normal to what you consider space to taste it's, like. I don't know. Sure. It smells like oxygen. What, what I'll do is <laughs> I'll, I'll quickly I, I go to uh, pat down Mr. Vandervan to make sure that he's all right. Uh, but then I see uh, Percy being uh, suckled upon, and and I'll uh, <laughs> bend down and I'll, yeah. I'll I, we're on an asteroid, so there's loose bits of rock, right? There's pieces, yeah, that can be broken away. Yeah, yep. I'll, I'll snap off a bit and yell, yeah, get away and fling a rock. All right, so, you're gonna, so you tell them to freeze. You're kind of frozen in terror for the moment. I'm looking around for St. Peter. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so you're beginning to see if someone's waiting for you. Yeah. I'd be nice Fork. to see some pearly gates. There's yeah. a door, but that's as close as you're getting at the moment. You lean down and crack off a piece of the rock. Um, you're pretty fortunate for this one, and it's a hefty chunk, and there's gravity here. You get a lob, and you're going to heave yep. it. Um, can I see what the reaction of the cats are to... Uh, so this is yeah. what everyone's doing at once, and okay. finally, Edie, what are you doing? I want to see what happens when you throw the rock at the cats. Okay, all right, so you call out, which draws their attention, and you immediately throw a rock. Can you make a throw check, please? Okay, fantastic. They are a decent distance away. This is going to be hard, just to clear the... Does the low gravity give me any bonuses? No. Throw and find out. Okay. Uh, extreme success. Fuck, nice. All right, yeah, that's pretty good. So you heave it towards them, and as it leaves the gravity of your own asteroid, planetoid, whatever, it surges forward and catches the gravity of the next, being pulled down into it and careening into one of these yowling cats with a sort of a hissing thud that turns quickly to wet mud. Like, it's as if it's Ugh. hit liquid and being sort of pulled into it and then emerges out the other side. Pieces of whatever this thing's liquidy form splash along the ground behind it. It immediately aggravated. They look up towards you. One prowls to the edge, catches its claws or some semblance of claws into the side and shunts itself forward, leaping over the distance and towards you. So, oh no. um, oh, can you go ahead and roll roll a d4 for damage for me? Uh, sure, okay. Do you want me to add my damage bonus to that? Yes, please. Okay. Are we d4-less over here? Oh, yeah, we, we I got, got one some. here. Take Sorry, that one yeah, down. Take the shiny <laughs> Thank one you. Down. I'm going to take... You, uh, can, you can have as many dice as you want. All right. So, because oh, you've been so, so good. Oh, 
here. Uh, right. That's a four. Oh my god, and damage bonus. That's pretty good. I'm rolling like a champion. Eight Imagine damage. It. Eight damage. Shit. All right, that's not. Uh, that's not nothing. The, the shit that we're wearing. Does it have components? Is it just a robe? It is just a robe. It is like something it does have official or religious pads. or something. It has no pockets. There's no lining. It would give no defensive also, properties. It is it, very, very basic. Was that a was that a, with an extreme success? Was that impaling damage? Because that might be twelve. Do anything? Oh yeah, impaling. It wouldn't impale, but it would max, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I rolled max anyway. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, in that case, the problem has solved itself. We Excellent. We don't need to figure that out. All right. Um, that is also over half. Where is this thing's health? Can I take try out like one of these tear... things? Oh, that's well over half. <laughs> Damn you, you dumb cat. And so the one that you hit collapses as you just oh. throw it over. It gets caught in the second one's gravity and it slams into it. This creature gets like ripped apart by it. Two of its legs sort of pull into itself and then emerge out the other side in chunks. Um, and it collapses next to Percy. One, but the other one is moving towards you, and they are beginning to. Uh, How many of them are there? There are six, five now. Okay. So cool. five are beginning to head towards you. So. What is everyone's intent? Are people standing and like waiting for this onslaught to come towards you? Are you searching for weapons? Are you turning and beginning to flee in the other direction? What are you going to try and do? Uh, are they all coming towards us? They are now all coming towards you. Yes, you're so they're they're attention. I, I, oh, sorry, you go. That's fine. Oh, so they've My left Langhorn. They have, yes. So yeah. they have... the. There's the rock with Langhorn on it. He's collapsed over. One of them has been splattered next to it. The first has leapt off, pushing the rock backwards and is beginning to soar through the air towards your one. Mm. There's another one it'll have to stop off on and then it can move again. And the others are beginning to follow suit. You could attempt to circumvent going around towards Langhorn. You have to jump between a few of these little planetoids. Yeah, like, uh, can I can I do, like, a lap around? Like, is there coming towards There's the a bunch of them, and there's sort of different rocks moving in different positions around it at okay. different points. So, yes, you could try and move around if you wanted to make a break for him. Yeah. So you're going to try and do that? I, 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 I'm like, i going to go for Langhorn. Make sure he's okay and get him through. I think we got to get through that door. I point to the door. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna get him. Th- I'm going to try to get him through that door. And you're going to make a break for Langhorn. All right, so he's going towards Langhorn and towards... Circumventing around, but basically you are not going away from the creatures. You're staying no, in no, the same I'm distance in the from same them. Vicinity. Okay, yeah, I understand. Well, Everyone else? So you said the door leads back to where we came from. It looks like it is the same. It's Argus's office right. or something, and right. it looks like it leads into the entryway. What more? That's weird. It's, you'd have to. So with a 98 sanity roll, I think I am patiently waiting for the angels to come and collect me. <laughs> You've also, so a four is not enough to lead to indefinite insanity. You are shaken, definitely, okay. but right. you are in control of yourself for the time being. I think, you'd like, you might generally think you're dead, but yeah. those things don't look pleasant, at least. And if that's heaven or hell, you're like, there's a chance I don't have to submit to whatever that is. That'd probably be good. I'll, I'll wait for direction from my Okay, mind. so you're going you're gonna to hold off for the moment? How I'm about you two? I'm going to prepare an action. If I, not prepare. I want to punch them. Yeah, definitely. So you're gonna you're holding <laughs> your breath. Uh, okay. okay. Yeah, no worries. So you're going to stay on this one? I have 45 brawl. I think Ooh. I'm just going to punch them. Mr. James? I'm going to get in front of uh, Van der Van and make sure that the cats don't come for him and start pushing him backwards and say, Get back, Mr. Van der Van! Alright, so you're gonna so the three of you are standing on this one planetoid waiting for them to leap towards you. Um, can you give me a jump check then as you get to the edge, push off and attempt to surge towards the one in the distance, staying away from the cats. Meow. Well, I know I didn't leave the best life. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't seem fair. No? Alright, um, so you can luck it if you want. Otherwise, uh, you're gonna no. take so you're able to push yourself out of the gravity of this one, and you're going to immediately get sucked into the one of the next asteroid. Yeah. You're going to clear the distance, but as you come in, you're moving fast, yeah. and you're going to slam into it. I promise I, you this will hurt. Yeah, but I think i I got, I got to take it, man. That's a, like, I'm, I'm way above my jump score. Okay, okay. I'm, all right. I'm like can, 30. Can, can I'm like, I can't use like 30. No, unfortunately, I don't think you'll be able to push this one. You're already, the, the pretty yeah. reasonably dire consequences. All right, um, go ahead and take a D6 of damage. Ooh. Ooh. We're pulp characters. We got twice you the hit so points. You got so many hit points. Yeah, I got that's twice right. the hit points, which is 13. I'm oh my god, that's almost a major wound, wound on you. Uh, yeah, that's a healthy oh, okay, you roll six. Two. Okay, Two. Okay, that's not bad. All right, you clear towards slamming on the other one, and you are also thrown prone. As the moment, two of the cats divert off and are beginning to leap towards you. So I'll do jump checks for all of them. Do have to call them cats? <laughs> I just feel bad being like, I want to punch the cat. I want to kick the cat like, into space. I want to like. kill the cat. Like, what, what, would, what would... Do you have a preference? No, no, it's fine. I just feel bad. How about spats? It's very against your brand. Space cats. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the GS- oh, GSC, Scoopy Space Cats. <laughs> yeah, you beat me to it by a second. Oh, I was trying to find a way to make it also be GSP, so it related to a celebrity, but that didn't work. <laughs> okay. These things are really good at jumping. 
Uh, that being said, the one going for you still fails and has the same thing happen. So it's so we awesome. both hit them. <laughs> oh, and then it hits. I'm like, same <laughs> You feel an we're immediate not, connection. Yeah, we're not that different. <laughs> you and me, crazy. man. You and Look me. into his eyes. Yeah. Why is your HP so low? Oh, because my con is the lowest. Oh, it's possible. 25. And you're saying yes, you're by what's... yourself. Oh yeah, and I'm and I'm saying I am going after the yeah yeah. All right. Um, the other ones are going to be one more jump away from you as well, but we're going to go into combat for this, so we'll do it based on dexterity. So, Hell yeah. um, everyone get your dexy, yep. and I need to go into sending, and I'll write you down so we know what everyone is. So, is anyone above, like, 90? Nope. Alright, anyone above 80? Cool. <laughs> 70. <laughs> Please. 60. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm 65. Oh, 60. Okay, alright, so Nick... I did not think Sorry, it was 65. Cat one, cat two, cat three, cat <laughs> Oh, no, four. genuinely, they, they're all going first. Oh, yeah. great. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, what are you? 50. Yourself? 50. All right, uh, who wants to go first? Uh, you go first. All right, 80. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I made that decision no, for it's you. Fine. Would you mind going no, first? No, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> I have Please? lower, like, drag. All right. Yeah. You can punch um, the cats fast. Two of them land on the ground in front of you, and immediately the first one sprawls down prone, is like wheeling around to its feet, skittering yeah. legs. Rather than actually dragging along, just two new legs oh. up and push itself up like- on its bed. This close, what you presumed was its head is a lot vaguer. Instead, it's more just a pustulous mass mm. with a series of opaque, milky eyes bulging oh out from God. it at different points. So you presume that's the forward-facing section. It does have a tail as well, and it sort of lashes out into spiky tendrils towards its back, which whip around, and you see the point open to reveal yet another mouth on the inside. Um, one of them pushes itself up, but the other one's going to strike at you, lunging forward. Uh, you can choose to fighting brawl, basically reposting, Mm-hmm. Or you can have to dodge and scramble out of the way. Uh, I will dodge. Okay, uh, good call. I'm going to try to... Um, I yeah. appreciate that option. Alright. I have rolled... Uh, I have rolled a success one. Okay. Alright. Uh, that's. Oh wait. No, that's not going to succeed, unfortunately. So you can luck it down to success two. Otherwise, you are you are taking damage. I will luck it down to a success two. It's okay. not that far off. All right. That's because um, they rolled a success two. That's because they rolled a success two. So with dodge, you need to meet or get better than theirs. With fighting brawl, if you attempt to repost, you have to exceed their value. Um, so the dodge is the slightly safer one. So it lashes forward and begins to sort of like uh, strike out at you, but you're able to dodge scrambling out of the way as um, the last bite sort of misses uh, and it basically yields its turn. So um, from the two of you, they're going to need to jump once more. So one sec. Succeeds. Succeeds and... Succeeds, they are all three onto your asteroid. And they're beginning to circle around. The small scrublands aren't providing any cover. And they're actually underneath the gravity of your planet, sort of walking along the bottom of the surface and heading to surround the three of you and attack from three different points. Uh, Nick, you're going to be up though. What do you want to do? So one of them is in front of you. Has Actually, they're both up now. One's right next to you and the other one's circling around. Okay. And, And, um... As they're closer now as well, they're big. They're like Jaguar size. You are what? medium confidence <laughs> yeah. in here. Now, um, so can I can I just uh, leap to Langhorn's asteroid yeah. now? Go like for- now that I've like Yep, triangle. so make another make another jump check yep. from here. Which uh, as you guys might oh. remember, I'm historically Super very good, good at. at. But I just- like little No, apparently these were like squishy little muffin boys. What's so bad? Trat. You can lock it. I can lock it, but I've been using a lot of it. Alright. You know what I, I have a saying? If you can't chuck it, better lock it. You can't um, just say, I have a saying, and then hope you'll think of one. I, d- Actually, I did, I though. It kind of worked, too. I um, now. Uh, I am absolutely going to lock that. Right. Uh, how, was, many, how many much luck are you spending? Oh, I'm using another 10 points of luck. Ah, just like, actually. I'm throwing luck around like it's... Now, you guys like did regen <laughs> luck at the start of yes. it. Oh, yeah. So these guys restored, I think, a D10 plus 5 mm-hmm. if they failed the luck roll. 2D10 plus 10, or in some cases, 3D10 plus 10. Uh, I think I'm down to all, less than half of what I originally had. <laughs> 
All right. Um, anyway, um, but you're able to land. You take one. no damage, and you are on the same one as Langhorn. He has collapsed in this sort of rubble of what looked like ruins from long ago, like this pristine marble that is crumbling on all the edges. Not a jagged surface in sight. Everything rounded and smooth by aeons and aeons of past time. Langhorn himself is sprawled in the center. His glasses missing and wearing the same kind of outfit that the four of you are dressed in. Uh, his leg, where the rose is pulled up, has been just melted away past bone and into oh. some, like just marrow and spiraling tendrils of nerves. Oh. But oh. as you get close, there is he's unconscious, but you can see the shallow rise of breath. He's not actually dead. Um, what do you want? Uh, sorry, we'll leave you there. Yeah, that's, that's your me, turn yeah. to move. All right, um, William, you're up. Oh no! Run! I'd run, run Mister Van. You're going to attempt to run. I'm going to leg it to the door. All right, can you make a Constitution check? You're going to enter into a chase. I'm not much of a fighter. I'll leave it to the professionals. Don't look at me like that. I don't need that Sorry. in my life. Never Sorry. look at me. <laughs> All right, con. Uh, 30 under 45. That's okay, that's good. What is your move rate, please? My move is 8. Okay. Which I believe is perfectly average. That is, that is very much average. All right, you are entering into a chase, and you begin to run away. All right, so the first one you're going to need to do is a jump check, just same as him. As you leave the asteroid you're currently on and surge yourself towards how, the next. How many are following him? Just one? Uh, I will see on their turn. Okay. I'm not much of a jumper. Yeah. Uh, no, not in this Alright, it's going to be a d6, fail. but you will clear the distance. Um, d6, uh, yeah, no, it's 54 points of luck is not worth it. Uh, so 1d6 damage. Yep. Four. All right. Um, you slam down on the other side, and as you do, you can feel you something shifts under it. There's a crack. It. You hope it's not broken, but it's enough to be like, ooh, that's gonna fucking sting. Uh, you are going to be slowed on your next round, but I want to see who's entering the chase before I tell you how much. So, let me just move you along. The big dub. All right. Uh, Edie, what do you want to do? You know, you get your fisties out and stuff. Okay. So you're choosing to thump. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Alright, nice. Uh, do you want to go ahead and make a fighting brawl check? Is you Hell yeah. <laughs> <a> little cat. <laughs> uh, are you, have you picked up a rock or something, or are you just pummeling with your... Uh, mechanically, it'll be the same. Would it you help haven't, me? Not yet. You would need to spend a turn looking for a suitable club-like weapon. No, I just want to punch. You're just going to wheel and deal. Alright, go ahead and make a fighting brawl check. Water bag cats. Water bag jake. Fuck. <laughs> How'd you get? Oh, I get to roll. Sorry, don't tell me, because I'll roll against you. It's fighting brawl. I I have so much luck. I fail by one point. So I will not hit you at least. How'd you go? I have so much luck, I'm just going to spend it. Okay. I've oh. succeeded. I'm going to spend 20 points of luck. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> punch these cats. Wait, what's your what's your damage bonus? I have no idea. It's 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 empty. <laughs> this, so this, just to be clear, it's 20 points of luck for a D3 of damage. Okay, no, it, it's, it's fine. Damage it's bonus. fine. Yeah. This was a bad idea. I miss the water bag cat. Yeah, um, the water bag cat misses you in can, return. You go, let's not. I have like a record scratch moment where it's like, <laughs> yeah, that's me. <laughs> As your friends are leaving. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all right. Okay, yeah, I miss the cat. All right, uh, are, are you, does it look like you're going to be staying or are you going to enter the chase as well? All right, so you're probably leaving as well. All right, Jose, you're up. I'm a bodyguard. This is what I do. I'm going to plant myself and I'm going to swing at a swing at the first cat. Boop. Make a fighting brawl. We check. really I'm, are I'm hoping that Jose can in. handle this because uh, Jose. thirty over fifty, cat so that's going to land. Yeah, and that's a success. I might just spend a cheeky five points of luck. Success two is not going to. Um, oh, I guess you don't know what I, I did. I don't know what you're doing, so I'm. Just I, I'm, I'm reposting. Creatures you're, will always repost. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm. Yeah, go for it. Have success two. Uh, yeah. I like it, strategic. Okay, strategic, yeah, 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 you absolutely hit. It tries to uh, lash at you. Um, it wouldn't have connected anyway, and you're under it. And you slug upwards. Okay. Actually, what's your fighting style, um, boxer? Uh, oh god. Or just straight, like you're just throwing shit at them and trying to rip their eyes. If I can pit, cat fight. If I can pit, I might do it. Might yes. do a little. Uh, might do a little judo kind of I stuff. I was going like to say flipping. bodyguards are usually yeah, judo. Yeah, nice. And then hold, get it onto the ground. And yeah. Then oh, oh, yeah. Oh, I'll have a All right, go for it. Make, uh, roll your damage. So your okay. damage bonus plus a d3. So unless you have something extra. A d3. And um, yeah, go uh, for it. I'm just going to... Yeah, Smack the nuts out of it. I think... That is going to be six damage to it. A palpable strike, James. Wow. I... You should try to throw them out into space. Wow, and just I feel bad. See if you How much damage again, sorry? Six. Six. Space cat. Is that another Easy. major wound? There's no atmosphere, is there? That is yeah. exactly a major wound. Come at me, kitty cats. This one is still up, though. So it's got a major wound, but it's still moving. Um, I think you probably just... Because you're resting it down on the ground, right? I, I threw it. I swam. Yeah, I think you've like you basically got it pressured now, and you can see like it's been you can actually be pushed flat along the sides. It's almost impossible to grab, and everywhere you're connecting with, you're feeling it's like warm milk in a thin 
thin bag. It's pushing back against you, and it's just awfully like clammy and warm. It's it's mm. not particularly appealing. Yeah. But you're grappling the space. Cabinet. I'm also uh, planting as best as I can. I want I want to protect uh, Mr. Van der Van, and if I happen to protect uh, uh, Edie as well, that's a bonus. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, um, the two of them are going to scramble up. I'm going to chase you first, Nick. So one's going to attempt to jump, Why? landing next to you, and the other one's also going to follow. Also landing next to you as they both. Uh, <laughs> I love that they both. Um, right next to you, jealous. but that's their turn because they have to enter. So they are now next to you. You do the same thing. Jump okay, as you yeah, yeah. So they're with you. Uh, one of them's going to at least enter the chase with you, um, and the second one's going to attack you because you haven't started to run yet. You're still in range. Third will attack you as well. So entering the chase. Uh, um, and then jumping to chase. Could you pass me the Nick? I absolutely can. So, yeah. so I, I it oh, it's alright. Okay. This what kitty, you, this little kitty went to the next one. Got to be strategic. Alright, um, uh, I'm going to attack at you, Jamie. And as it does, this one, rather than biting you, is going to begin to, its like, legs begin to... Oh, no. Out, no and no, uh, no, small no. claws emerge, and it's going to make two attacks at you. No. So okay. you can fighting brawl... Two! Or, it's a d4 plus one, so that was... Low. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm going to repost. Yeah, get uh, after it. Um, now, uh, I'm actually, I can't remember the ruling for this off the top of my head. Uh, I got the book here. Does it have disadvantage because it is uh, has a major wound? I don't think so. But it's like bleeding out. It's, You're it's, bleeding it's out. Face bleeding out. I got this handy thing. Where's the where's the it's major wound blood. thing? Where's the one for like if you get thumped you die slowly? Uh, we'll, we'll I find team it. Up. <laughs> it's just here. You got it. Here we go. I don't, uh, I don't. I Here we go, the effects. Okay. Take the major wound back. The character immediately falls prone. It was prone. Uh, it makes a successful con roll to avoid falling unconscious, and if it gets to zero... No, so it's fine. Okay. It, it was prone, but it scrambles yeah. up, and it's now lashing Perfect. at you. It's, uh, it's, it's got cat-like grace. Yeah, that's right. Um, so I'm going to success or repost with a success All right, it fails, one. you can hit. All right, uh, so I'm going to strike it. I'll deal... It's, gonna, it's like hitting into a wall. Uh, I deal collapse? three damage to it. If it has a major <laughs> wound... I know, it rolls again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. <laughs> yeah, I don't you like it. your cats. <laughs> you're also you're holding it down. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. <laughs> just, just just a quick recap. How many cats are if you taking down? Two are down. Both technically, they days. all have nine lives. So I'm gonna, <laughs> there's, there's going to be 54 times I have to. Uh, all right. Cool. 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 All right, Edie. Cool. This one's going to strike at you. So it deal. It does. Ooh, four attacks. Oh god! That's that's two more than two. That is. And this is Ready? like four attacks because they just keep like popping. It yeah. I you. didn't think I would die by cat. Yeah, you didn't. Spay Who knows where you'll be cat. tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> All right, spare you. What a world! <laughs> if I said you were in a good situation, I'd be fee lion. All right, first no. attack. <laughs> would you like to dodge or repost? Uh, what's repost again? Uh, fighting brawl. And and if you meet them, it wins. With dodge, if you meet them, you win. Either way, if you ex- if you exceed their but repost, if you exceed them, then you, you get deal to, damage. You get to hit them, back. which is a D three. Which is a D. My success <laughs> two is about the same as my dodge success one, so I'm just gonna repost. Fuck it, I have eighty five luck. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. yeah go for it. Sorry, I thought you were about to say you had eighty five fighting brawl. <laughs> <laughs> that is not how we pitch it. Cat. All right, yeah, yeah, get after it. <sighs> is that a- how'd you go? Fail? I could lock it down to a success. False right, these are attacking several times and they don't seem to be particularly accurate. Like, he got an advantage. They're lashing out. They're not mm. amazingly skilled. Will she, in will, will she roll for every attack? Yes. Oh, you might want to just, yeah. What? You wait till it, the next attack. Cause take take, take the hit times. and then just, it'll attack you again. It's got four attacks. Yeah. And you'll yeah, roll for every one of those. All right. Uh, so first one, it attempts to strike. Face, it misses. Face. You're both just in close range. Mm. Is it like low gravity? <laughs> uh, it is a. You're a little like the Fuck dread. The roving's billion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, next attack. Uh, go ahead and roll to dodge or, or repost. Meow meow. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna repost again. Go for Ooh. it. Ooh, I'm gonna spend two luck just in the off chance that it fails. So what was that? A success one or two? Success one. And becomes a success two. No. Oh, no. it becomes a success one. Unfortunately, this one connected <laughs> um, barely. So it's gonna deal. <laughs> Two plus three. Five points of damage. Oh, what? And so what's happened is one of the tendril claws has lashed out into your robe, sort of emerging with it and then pulled it back with a chunk of your skin as well as it oh. retreats. Um, and it just seems to be sort of pulled into the rest of it. All right, there's two more attacks. Do I 
want to try. It's like it's no, it's not materially no different for me if I dodge or repost. If you have literally double, then yeah, that's yeah. right. Yes. Okay. Chance wise, although luck range. Oh, oh, oh shit! Oh, um, oh. Success two. All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, you hit it. It, it, it lashes for you, but you're able to go ahead and roll d3 of damage. Uh, so d6 yeah. and half it. Whoa. Three. Yeah, that's, 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 that's not the nothing. maximum amount of damage that dice can roll. All right. Yay. Uh, it, it, you sort of punch it, and as you go through it, its arm, or sorry, its mouth reforms where you just oh. pulled through its body, and its teeth do sort of cosmos, or sort of like, what's like a blender almost, Ooh. raise uh, towards you, so it's going to make one final attack with its mouth. Go ahead and roll. Dude, Sorry, that's very loud. I just realized. Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> look it down again. So just three more points of luck to a successful one. All right. I don't like these drippy cats that digest you. I know. Or it's it's I not guess. cool, yeah. is it? All right. Uh, that unfortunately is not enough. It's got a success one as well. So Fuck you will you take cats. five points of damage yet again. Fuck as you, you cats. I want half health. You five. You took another five. If I took that amount of damage, I'd, I'd be on. So you do have options because there's, there's two of them coming for you. I yeah, we're about. Yeah, don't you worry about that. Um, we don't have a weapons. Just, no, you do not. They just, they just dissolved. We're in Rome. They appear to be absent. All right. So the nature of them, the location, all I... questionable. Oh, maybe you're not focusing hard enough. Hey, David. Ooh. Yeah. When do I get a major wound? Ah, uh, half your. I'm on fucking half. Uh, no, no, you, no, you have to take, take half, half in half one hit. hit. Oh, cool. Yeah. So you're all right. You're I'm fucking. I'm yeah, bleeding little, out little ticks in space right. heaven. Fucking. Spevin. With cats, space cats, um, whatever, man. Whatever, man. Oh, that's like a lot. All right. Okay, um, the two of them have left towards you. One has surged off in chase between between you and you've beaten one to death. Uh, Nick, you're up. Cool, so cool, the two cool. land next to you. Percy is just in front of you. What um, do you want to do? Uh, I would like to grab Percy and run. Okay. Um, so you lift him up. This is going to make your jumps harder. You've I'm got aware. someone with you. You're able to shoulder him over. How big are you, just by the way? What's your oh, size? Oh, I'm tiny. I'm 40. Okay. Also known as the lowest possible you can roll. <laughs> so, yeah, that's hey. right. Oh man, <laughs> he's a scrapper. Yep. Me? So, no, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, my, my skills are in handguns. I'm a police officer. Why did you do this? Because <laughs> the guy needed help, so yeah. I had to help him. Um, so you get Percy, you shoulder him over in like a fireman style carry. You've got one arm on his leg, Slow and the gravity, other one, I know, but the other arm is feeling like the absent bone and tendrils oh, and God. stuff but you just pull the rope down around it and you're going to make to jump go ahead and give me a jump check it's going to be hard What's the yeah. expression protect and soy protect and soy protect and soy oh. I can get this guy through that door on the other end of this cosmic uh, playground <laughs> this cosmic, cosmic gateway cosmic pancake pull. Uh okay so here's the thing yeah what were you trying to roll uh, I'm trying a to roll hard a, jump check. I'm so that means he needs a ten. He needs half under his jump. Yeah, score. I need a ten, and I rolled a twenty-nine, which well, is not good. a ten. A clean nineteen points of luck. That's pretty yeah. good. Yeah, uh, my luck is thirty-two at the moment. That would take it down. To it's a it's 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 a clean nineteen though. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's pretty. It's cheap. not twenty. It's not. <laughs> that's what, not what? much. It's not twenty. Rachel's yeah. right. It's nineteen. It's not twenty. Yeah. yeah. It is more than eighteen. <laughs> it is. <laughs> so I give you. A, um, and these steak knives can come I, with Can I have a sort of clue about whether I will take damage or he will take damage? Uh, it'll be, you'll, you'll, you'll choose where it goes. So you, will, the damage will be rolled, you can choose to take it or you can choose for it to go through. I You're carrying him, I presume you would take damage unless you yeah. fumble and, and, and drop yeah. it. I think, I, think, I think I'm going to take it. I okay. I'm going to take the damage. All right, leaping back around, <laughs> the cat's following after you. Fortunately, as long as you keep moving, they haven't gotten an attack in yeah. yet. Uh, you leap back across to oh, another worry, one. I'm sufficiently damaging myself. And slam into the ground, like buckling with it, your legs like knocking into this asteroid craggy surface. Go ahead and take a d6 of damage, please yeah. and thank you. Yeah. And William, you're up. Oh, yes. What did you get? That's a that's a big old onesie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. Oh my god. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I will not do that in future. He was excited. All right, I am. I roll it. So far, you're doing all right. I'm, I'm doing okay. Damage. I'm somehow managing my way through this. All right, all right. So one cat has entered the chase along with you, and it's just the two of you, which means you have one move action each round. It has two. So you land in this. Uh, that's how it works. Just because it's got more legs. The way it works, no, no. So uh, the way chases are done is you take the move rate of the fastest creature Mm -hmm. and the lowest one. The slowest creature has one move action. Faster ones have one plus the difference. So it will do two things per. If someone else enters, say, I think, do some of you have seven move rate? I'm on nine. 
I have seven. All right, so Jose enters. He will be on one. You will be on two. The cats will have three. Now, move actions can be things like go further, attempt to strike. So what it does is it will be landing after you and scratching at you each round as you attempt to desperately outpace it. Um, that sucks. But as you begin to run through these, the one you land on is larger. It's this long sprawl with dotted ruins and strange buildings, all of them missing any windows, doors, or any sort of semblance of anything that isn't this old, rotting, sort of smoothed marble. You can still see the white veins pushing through it. As you begin to move through them, you find yourself trapped on one side, and you have to clamber over a number of them to get to the other side. Can you give me a climb check, please? And thank you as you make for the door. I don't really like all of these physical exertions. I know, but through. that's what happens. You're chased by space act. cats through this is not space. Can I, can I attempt to charm them instead? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. I'll give you some space tuna. Uh, I will not climb. And all right. I will not spend 63 points of luck. Unfortunately, you're moving over it. You fall down to the other side, take a d4 of damage, but you are continuing. Um, all right, Edie, you're up next. Yeah. Ooh, bro. Uh, the cat is, is behind up? you. You gave I it a bat. Fucking leave. Alright, so you're also gonna enter yeah, the chase. Can you go ahead and give me a con check as you Hell tear no. out after? What's my con? Oh, it's not bad. Oh! Fucking that's a, that's success a good roll. three. Really? Alright, nice. your movement increases by one because it's an extreme success. So uh, what are you at yeah. now? I'm at ten. Oh, oh shoot. You're faster you're than the cats? <laughs> yes! <laughs> no, that genuinely means. Fuck you, you. They can't catch you. You're outpacing them. You're just. Fuck <laughs> you, <laughs> <cats>. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, a kind of flash of like you, like a gymnast, like leaping off and then like using the gravity of one to like swoosh <laughs> past and like, like in your head you're doing all the math, you're like trajectory and like. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Alright, you're tearing off and you're going quick. Uh, we will keep you in the chase because you'll outpace him pretty quickly and move past, but you might be able to assist. What? Uh, Jose, you're up. <laughs> Um, there's still one cat that needs to leap into action. It to is going chase to chase, Edie. but yes. Um, I'm going to jump on it before it can. Uh, because I figure that although Mr. Vandervan has one in pursuit, this one will soon also be in pursuit of Mr. Vandervan. All right, great. So are you attempting to just hit it or are you trying to grapple it or I something? I am trying to hit it. Okay, go ahead. It's been remarkably successful. Just successful just oh, I, I think you're working. Uh, it. Uh, this is a success. Um, I will. I shouldn't um, have said the ooh before you decided. Yeah, you, you I, I kind of played did my say, hand you there, did didn't play I? I do, you want, do, you want, do you want us both to re-roll so you don't play no. a hand? Or, okay. I like my roll. All right, fantastic. <laughs> you um, <roll. laughs> um, I'm going to... How much would it be to... Uh, no, I'm going to leave it at success one. All right, success three. So that's impaling. Oh, jeez. No. Uh, so you're going to take the full, you're going to take it eight damage. Oh, gosh. As right. the claw lashes out. And just... I actually what's your, what's your max? Uh, 30. Uh, eight. Oh. Oh, sorry. Yeah, of him. Yeah. I actually thought your ooh was me. the other way. I thought you. Oh, like it was really bad. Was, no, no, no. I, thought, I was feeling good. Nah. Ooze can work both ways. The ooze can go both ways. All right. Um. So you attempt to strike, but unfortunately, this one just lashes out of you. And I'm saying it's now going to move its aggression towards you, which positive, negative. That's up to you interpret. All right. Um. So, with Edie now in the chase. Hell yeah. Edie, you have three move actions. Hell yeah. Wait. Seven, eight, nine, ten. You have four move actions. <laughs> Wait, no, you're on eight. Mm. Eight, nine, ten. You have three move actions. Okay. There we go. We got there in the end. They have two. So the first one is going to... Uh, I'm going to send two after you, Mr. Hey, Mr. DiMartino. Stop. <laughs> Both succeed, landing next to you. And Can on you at the least same fail one, one of them? Like <laughs> They're really good at jumping. Everyone right? else got they to deal with a group here. of them. They live here. They this is their... You here. came onto well, their turf. Fine. You didn't choose to go onto their turf, but you are <laughs> on their turf nevertheless. And they will kill you now. Um... Uh, then pursuing after yourself, it's a well, yep. Yeah, shockingly, they're not great at climbing though. So, Bonk. math is not a special team. I don't know. All right, um, it lands next to you and it will make a strike at you, Mr. Vandervan. Uh, the dimmest turn. I would rather it didn't, but I raise you with its claws. Yeah. Offer it some money. Let me try to dodge, and I will. With three points. Well done. Luck. All right. Yeah. Okay, uh, the strike goes out, but you're able to you're able to dodge out of the way, and one is now going to strike at yourself. Yep. Uh, so sorry, D4 for the number of attacks. I will repost. Re yeah. How many attacks are making? Two. Two. Okay, I will repost the first one or whatever. I think you're the only one who might want them to attack more. I know. He's kind of. You can, you can kind yeah, of. But then he can punch. Uh, them. That's an extreme yeah. success. I'm one off an extreme success. <laughs> oh, man. So you hit it. Uh, okay. <laughs> you Too hit bad. it. Getting I'm so glad the enemies don't have luck. <laughs> uh, 
Um, Wait, what? <laughs> Damn it! That there are mechanics for it. That, that's four damage to it. Oh, that's a powerful strike, James. All right. Uh, yeah, it's it's still up, but it is getting damage because it was extreme. Uh, my fists are not impaling, sadly. So it, is, oh. it means it deals max, though. Oh, you're impaling right. Impaling means yes. it's max and one of the Good dice point. again. I'm so sorry. So uh, that is it does five damage. Okay, so one more. All right, uh, second attack. Uh, 26, which I will use um, uh, 16 points of luck Ooh. and extreme success. That, cool. <laughs> <laughs> max damage? Yeah. Uh, All right, no dude, that damage. definitely hits. So it deals 3 plus 1, so just 4 damage to it. All right, that's so enough five to, and four. That's enough to knock Petey out. So um, I think because you once again, one leaps after Edie and you grab it out of the air and just swing it back in the gravity and onto the ground. You're then on top of her and you're able to just crush it into the rock. It is also dead. You're, you can add three cat oh, <laughs> strike marks to your, to, your, uh, to your vest. Well done. All right. <laughs> there are still two in pursuit of you. And um, that was the end of the turn. Sorry, I sang corrected. Nick, you're up. I was say he's earning his paycheck today. Oh, uh, <laughs> are you yeah. entering the chase as well? You're going to attempt to start bailing. Yeah, I mean, I mean, can you go ahead and make a con I mean. roll? Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Con. Constitution. Super good at con. Twenty five. Yeah. No. Not Fail. Even, not even All right. What's close. your What's your move rate? Normally. Uh, so do I go down? It or goes I down by one. It goes down by one. Seven. You're at seven. All right. So now, uh, now, has congratulations! Four. You've gotten two move actions now. <laughs> All right, and you enter. Um, can you give me a jump check? Yep. <laughs> to get to where they were. <laughs> Sorry, you went away. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I understand. And again, what still hard. Yeah. Oh my oh. god, it's almost the same roll. Wait, no, yeah, that's not good. Um, I mean, it's fine. Sorry. How much? Positivity. Up to you. I mean, it's a D six. Like your tank, and yeah. you've been rolling pretty well in the. I've damage been rolling pretty well in the D sixes. So I'm, I think I'm, I think I'm going to risk it. I'm going to keep going. Once on more, you you push off, and Jose, as you turn to join the chase, you see Nick robes fluttering, holding Percy as he soars oh. into the sky between the planetoids and lands next to you. Take a d6 of damage. Yeah. Unfortunately, the landings can't be super cool because you are failing, right, like but they are, well. you know. <laughs> oh, there, that's oh, worse. Buddy. How much was that? That's four. Cool. Okay. Again, oh still on the average. How much health do you have left? You've only asked me. an eraser. Oh, oh now I have six. And what did you start at? Thirteen. All right. Six is enough that if you if you stack a landing, you can. Oh get yeah! I, now I, now right. I'm in death territory. Nick is back to where he started. <laughs> um, yeah, but I have. La- I've, I've saved this guy's life. Oh no, I'm, I'm with you. Have you? I mean, because <laughs> he's like I, on my back. And he's like, leave me. <laughs> Let's. Uh, William, you're up. You have two move actions now. Uh, so you, one of them, you just continue running forward. There's nothing here. So you're able to move to the edge. And as you get there, you can see, um, pulled out of orbit, there's this sort of um, star storm of meteors that are beginning to roar towards you. However, you are outpacing them and they are not going to hit this round. You can move again and you are at the edge of this one with one jump left and then you're on the planetoid that contains the door. So you move forward again. Do, you, do, you need to, do I need a jump roll? Nope, no roll for that one. You'll jump at the end of this one. At the start of your next turn, sorry. So that's your two move actions. Uh, Edie, you're up. You have four. Four. So, so I need I a... I can... I need a jump check to begin with. Or did you... Did we do the jump roll at the end of the last one? Did you make a jump check? No? All right, jump roll. Please and thank you. I've literally never put points in jump. Mm-hmm. This is what... I and love the doing skills. Yes, can jump, It's climb. like, hey, jump. It's like... I always put jump. 20 points and like jump, climb, God, swim. Jump. Yeah. I, I, I like doing stuff. Well, I like being able to get places. I have 15 jump. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're going to pass anyway. Thank God, because of my insane amount of luck. But... <laughs> All right. So you're able to clear. So you move there. You take no damage. Now, can you make a climb check as you dart through the ruins on um, William's tail? Yeah, I'm going to fail. All right. Uh, take a d4 of damage as you scramble <laughs> over them, scraping on the other side. <laughs> Yes, hate yes. spade. <laughs> <laughs> Two damage. I'm good. All right. Um, and then you are through. So that's one action, two move action. You have two more still. So you pace and William, you left like a round and a half ago. Edie is next to you as you both are sprinting <laughs> past and you're at the end. You are really, really quick. Can I leave? Can you I just... are. You you can at the end of your next turn. You can pretty much close the distance. It's like two more rolls. You are. You can see the door on the other side. So that was Edie. Jose, you're up. Uh, Nick has a wounded person in his arms, and it is my responsibility to protect. So I. Oh, you're going to stand. You're still not uh, going. I'm, I'm going to 
grab one of the cats that's chasing Nick. <laughs> okay. Keep going. Right, my goodness. Okay. Um, go for it. Uh, 29. Let's bump that four points of luck uh, and success two. Okay. Shit. Um, yeah, sorry, fighting brawl. Uh, success two. I got a success two as well, so you will hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Because they're a costume, not those. Yeah. Ones. Yeah, that's right. Monsters, unless they have a very good reason. Um, that is four repost. damage. Well done, man. All right. Uh, the first hit goes through. Um, yeah, you've, you've clobbered it back and they have now swirled around. One is going to continue to chase, um, but you have drawn their attention and at the top of the round they will strike at you. So, actually, one of them's going to go for you still. Mr. DiMartino. Yeah, he's in set. Yeah. Okay. Let's do you first. Five uh, attacks. Oh, my, my turn? No, I'm attacking five, attacks. five attacks. Five attacks. All right, let's do this. I'm dodging all of them. Okay, all right. First if one coming through. To. What? If you have to... Throw Percy into it. Like, I can't. You can get out. Do we need him? He needs help. Who is this guy again? I'm not here. I'm not, I'm not here. <laughs> you, you've already left. <laughs> <laughs> you made it very clear what your stance on Percy is. <laughs> and space. <laughs> and cats. <laughs> um, Alright, I'm reposting. Uh, uh, sorry, not reposting. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm dodging. I'm dodging. Yeah, good catch. Uh, okay, that first one is a fail. Alright, I'm going to deal damage then. So, you take... Oof, dude. Yeah. Seven points of damage. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, you're unconscious. Okay. Unless, you, did you have a major wound? Uh, what? Yeah. Did you have a major seven, wound? Oh. Seven, seven points of damage, I might have a major wound. He seven points will That is a major, major wound. wound. Yeah. Unless oh, you roll out of the way and put or, the person face up. Or, enough I luck to, to, to... So, uh, there's one you can do. You can spend 20 points of luck to immediately gain a d6 of health. Yep. Blah blah blah. I don't that think sounds it's pretty good at does the moment. It, does it? Do we sometimes look at the pulp healers? Can blah blah blah. Okay, these are like extra uses for luck. Yeah, exactly. Pulp has a bunch of cool that. ones, so we're just checking them out in mm. some situations. Yeah, so that would allow you to gain health. It would also, uh, what I'll say is, it will subtract from that, so you won't get the major wound. Yeah, I like that. All right, All so right. Do you want to? So twenty points. Should the other one, which you might want to on the back have, is you can always spend all of your luck, yeah. a minimum of thirty, to avoid certain death. Yeah. So just something to consider. Well, my minimum of 30 will disappear now. Okay. Um, Alright, so, so go 20, ahead. 20 luck to gain. To, to gain a d6. To negate a d6 of health. That's of right. Damage. Um, and he... Uh, oh, six. Oh, that's pretty good. So you're yeah. going to take one point of damage. So take one point of damage. And it now takes four more attacks. Oh, cool. Cool and good. Cool and good. Alright. Uh, sorry, i got to... Uh, give me one second. I'm down to five health and... 12 luck. This is not good. You're beginning to look battered. Now, most of your damage oh, yeah. you've taken is from falling from all these leaves. Yeah. So I think, like, the bottom of your robes are scuffed and bloodied as you've dragged through it. You've got a large graze on one of your arms. Um, and now this cat has decided to start tearing through you. All right, dodging again. Go for it. What's your dodge skill, by the way? Uh, 32. Okay. It's, it's base, half yeah. my dex. Uh, Ooh. 37. Uh, I can luck five that points. down. I'm going to luck that down because okay. it's five. Five That's just enough, successful. right? Just enough you're able to move out of the way as the second one comes through. But this is now a barrage. This thing is chasing you along. And Jose, as you're squaring up with the second one, uh, Nick is beginning to be backed onto the underside of this small asteroid, holding Percy back so that none of the scratches get him. And pretty much putting yourself in the way of any of the strikes. Third attack. That's hilarious. These asteroids like Mario Galaxy. You can just yeah, you can go down to the other side. side. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's... That's a, that's, a, that's a hundred. Okay. Yeah. It also fumbled. It got a ninety-eight. Oh my god! Oh my god! So it's a comedy of errors, I guess. As you back up, it lunges forward, and they just like as it sort of surges over you, leaping, landing on the other side, and you're now being backed again towards Jose. It missing. We've got one more attack to roll. Okay. Uh... Um, you've, you've done so well so far. This is five. This is the worst case. This is also the bite, the no, most damage possible. No, roll that. No, that's illegal. <laughs> what did you do? Did you roll? I roll 100 again. <laughs> oh my god. No, no David, no, David. I would like to request I, I, that that was a That's a proper roll. <laughs> David, that's not allowed. <laughs> 100 you can't into 100? Twice in a row. David. That's illegal. To 100. David, That's this is not how. I'm so excited. <laughs> so, does yeah. this count as a weapon fumble by any chance? Uh, you're not using a weapon. The old, unless you dodge. consider these a pair of guns. Which because you can, in Pop Tool, you can use 10 luck to negate a, a weapon fumble. He doesn't have 10 luck. It's not a weapon. Oh, oh yeah, I have a fucking have 10, 10 luck. Oh, no. Okay. When a roll indicates a melee weapon fumble or firearms malfunction, it doesn't yeah, like, yeah, there's, yeah, no, there's no application. He doesn't have 10 I also don't have 10 lives. <laughs> so let's just not even. 
All right, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and roll normal damage. I... Yep. <laughs> but it's the D6 one, so it's going to hurt. That is, gonna hurt. that is that is seven points of damage. Yeah, I'm unconscious. Yeah. And with a major wound? Uh, yes. Because seven is just it. All right, yep. you make it, you make it, Conroy. All right. Hang on, before you do this... Yeah. Percy could take the hit. Let him um, the do I have to, like, put him in the way, though? Like, I can't... I tell uh, you what, it would be a... Uh, it could I happen would, narratively, so, but yeah. I think Nick will have in the back of his mind that you, you, you chose not to pull him out of the way, basically. Oh, but he's going to be fine, right? No, or is he going to kill him? I, I think I have... I, I think I have to let him take the hit or I'm going to die. Like... So what's you'll go to dying. There's yeah. still a chance someone first aids you or something, but, but like you're in the, trouble. The only person around me is, is is Jose. Oh yeah, you are in you are in serious trouble. Um uh, I think I have to let him take the hit. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Uh what happens? What how do you reckon it takes effect? Think, it's cause it's the bite too. It leapt over you, rounded back and lunged forward, its mouth sort of <laughs> extending, and it was gonna encompass you. Um I think Not fully, but I think I Throw Percy away <laughs> to like push like the way yeah you push something away to give me oh uh, shit so you throw him into it basically so yeah I I, I don't in, maybe I don't intentionally I don't know man maybe I did intentionally throw him at him <laughs> who knows but I throw him away and the and the, and the and the cat goes for him instead of me and it latches on and, and I'm like pushed and you're away able to tumble back the towards one. the other two all right so you shunt backwards so negate the damage you won't take yeah. it. But this thing just clamps down on Percy's side, um, and you see it then sort of twist, and there's a, like a like razor blade being pulled through flesh as it just suctions off a large chunk of him, and he is definitely dead at this oh. point. You've been pushed backwards, floating towards Jose, where you land on your feet, and you stumble backwards. The last one now turning to you. We've well, still got another round, so Mr. Jose. I'm scared off at this um, and Daniel, can you give me a sanity check when you yes. get out of this, please? And I'm gonna say you are going to have disadvantage given the lack of gloves and the circumstances. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah? Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Uh, How many attacks? Holy shit, man. Four. Why can't I have rolled those before? <laughs> How'd you go? 16. Okay, alright. Uh, um, so, success. Uh, success three. Uh, I tell you what, you're gonna take a point, yep. but That's nothing two. significant. You are able to justify this. It was life or death. You knew the stakes. I'm. Uh, first one is a miss. Oh, okay, it is also a miss. Go ahead. Um, you're a little. You're thrown off a little bit now as, her, uh, sorry, Nick steps back into the fray, but the other one is assailing you, yes. Second attack. Yep, go for it. I didn't know what I was going to say until I finished saying it. Uh, second one is also a miss. All right, it is also a miss from our part, so oh, the hunter's strike. Um, third attack. Uh, I'm going to... No, no, uh, miss. <laughs> also a miss. Exactly a miss. I'm one above. Last one. This is just a... Okay. Hey. Um, I will lock that four points to a success too. All right, and I fumbled. So. Oh, okay, fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> so go ahead and roll damage. Um, give me two seconds. I just gotta yeah, no worries. All right, roll damage. And this is the one that's already slightly wounded? Oh, yeah, it's pretty heavily slightly wounded. Uh, that is going to be uh, five damage. Okay. That is just under a major wound, so it's still up, but it's, it's wounded. Um, mm -hmm. All right, those two go. Nick, you're up. Uh, Alright, I guess I'm just gonna bail. Yeah. Alright, uh, make a jump chase. check. Yeah, make a jump check. You are on one move around because you are the slowest one, unfortunately. Yeah. And there is still a cat in pursuit of the two of you, and there's two with you now. Uh, I succeed. Okay, oh, nice. Alright, you leap to the other side, and you are now find yourself surrounded by ruins um, and beginning to navigate your way through them. Now, William, you're up. You have two move actions. Um, you can. Make the last jump check, please. I'd love to. You're getting close. Do that. I can swim. I'm not completely useless. <laughs> it's just not jumping. Yeah. No, all right. Yeah. Take a D6, unfortunately. You push off the other side, and you begin to tumble down on the other oh, end. God. You can see that this small asteroid is encroached to what, what look like iron thorns, which sort of uh, interwine around the entire thing, and in the center, a doorway. So how much damage did you take? Six. Okay, that's not a major. What's your health? 20. Okay, yeah, no, you're right. All right, um, you have another action. If you want to give me a dex check, you can mean to move your way through the thorns, but you are at the door or moving towards it. Oh, 
Oh yeah, zero five. Well, Success. all right, yeah. Wow. So you just wind your way through them, ducking under, and you get to the door. You push it open, and you can see the same hallway that you entered in not that long ago. Do you step through, or are you going to turn around and look to the others? You can hear the Heck last no. cat. Okay. I'm gone. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Before, oh, yeah, please tell me about. The no, no, things no. That it's coming. You. It's going to attack you. You. You get the gist. Yeah. You step through. Yeah. All right, and you walk through, and you immediately feel like a pressure train. And you uh, step through. We'll see what happens in a moment. Oh. Um, Edie, you have a billion moves. Do you want to give me a jump check? Fucking and then give me a dex check. Oh, yeah. As you go sonicking after. Ah, uh, motherfucker. Okay, that wasn't a fumble, but I failed. Okay, take a d6. Hell no, thanks. One. Oh, that's, yeah, that's all right. That's, that's pretty good. All right, that's pretty graceful. Once I get back to place what isn't space, might fucking piss Place, my not space. Um, and dex check? Yep. Oh, I rolled a one. No, nice. really? Yeah. Well done. Um, all right. Yeah, you're able to just weave him, and you're going at full speed as well. You're just clipping, just right under him, darting over, and you make it to the doorway as well. You're like natural through. at like moving in. Yeah, you do low gravity. <laughs> Know what that was. I don't know if it was that. I was like, do you go through the door and you just stop at the side? <laughs> Calisthenics. No, um, yeah, I'm leaving. All right, you also dart through after William. Um, all right, uh, Jose. Um, I'm uh, now to the casual observer, perhaps uh, this man was dead, but I'm actually trained in first aid. Is there any way I can save him? I dive onto him. I guess you're right. Technically, he would be dying. So, uh, it, and it is the current round. So, yes. yeah, I, go I ahead and make. I imagine him ahead. like getting all of his flesh sucked off. Oh, he's off. definitely being. Pulled apart. If he if he lives, it is no life to live. But go ahead and make a first aid check. That's not for you to say. <laughs> exactly. Well, it actually is explicitly for you to say. This is. Uh, right. I'm going to burn 24 points of luck to make that succeed. What? You can have like buy in five minutes. The st- I, my, I am steadfast. This is what I do. Mm. Moral righteousness runs strong in the blood of the steadfast. Is literally the description. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> All right. All right, yeah, okay. Um, it is only because you got to here in the nick of time. He was barely conscious at the same point, um, and you were able to pull the thing off it. They don't seem to do massive chunks of damage, more just like constant tiny pieces, so he actually hadn't had a major wound until he went down at that point. You're able to pull him away. He's not going to heal any or anything, but yeah. he is with you, and you are now surrounded by two cats, which we are going to go to their turn. So, um, Nick... You have made the last one. These two have darted through the door, and the one that was pursuing them rounds and begins to head towards you. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, wait, I'm on the right. I'm on the one with the door. You're on the rock. No, you're on the rock with surrounded by ruins and yeah. things. You are an asteroid behind all of that yeah, still. Yeah, yeah, I um, let's come back to you, Nicholas. Uh, sorry, um, old man Jose. Let's do you um, first. So I'm going to roll an attack. Uh, first one's going to only get two. So first. First strike. Uh, can, uh, I'm going to. Uh, repost. Yep, go for it. Uh, fail. Alright, okay. Uh, that is a success, so 2 d4. Six points of damage. Um, as the first one lashes out, and I will strike again. Yep. Is this the injured one or the uninjured one? Uh, this would be injured. Attack one, I'll attack you afterwards. Uh, sure, success 2 on a repost. Okay, yeah, no, you hit. Go for it. Uh, th- uh th- three points of damage. Okay, that's just enough. Um, you're able to... It goes for the second strike, and you're able to slam it on the ground. Four ticks. Um, second one. Two attacks, again. Okay. First strike. Repost. Um, oh, shit. Success one. All right, unfortunately not from this side. So, again, math. Uh, four points of damage. And second attack. As it's just an onslaught miss. of... Yeah, also miss from this side. So, they've both gone lunging at you. You've been able to throw one to the side, but the second one gets a few glancing blows on you. Percy, who you haven't gathered up yet, is laid on the ground, but you can look towards him next. Um, Nick, uh, this yep. one's going to use... It has two actions, so it will attack you twice. So, first, strike towards you. Uh, dodging. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, it fails as well, so you're alright in the second. Oh my god. Uh, success. Yes! <laughs> alright, uh, unfortunately I got a success oh, oh. three. Yeah, alright. Oh. Sorry, so that's, um, yeah, impelling, so that's eight points of damage. Oh man, I'm unconscious, yeah. yeah. Alright, um, uh, we end with a major. Uh, major wound, yeah. Alright. Noted. Okay. Uh, Jose. Do I record negative HP? Um, only if it's gonna go over your 
maximum hit points, which it won't. Okay. Um, um, so on your turn now, you are you have taken a major wound and you are unconscious. So you are dying. Mm-hmm. You need to make a Constitution roll, please. Wait, sorry. Uh, yeah, you need to make a Constitution roll. Go ahead. On my turn or now? Now. Sorry, I corrected at the end of every round. So you do nothing. Okay. Um, so, uh, Jose, you're going to be up. Um, can I uh, scoop up um, uh, Percy and leap towards uh, the asteroid containing... Um, He's on that one, yeah, yeah. definitely. Uh, give me a con roll to start, no. just so I get your speed. A quick uh, a moral dilemma. If I, if I leave Percy... Can I get to Nick in time to first aid? It's just going to change the difficulty of the check. You are He's not large enough to slow your speed down. Okay, sure. So I'll it'll just make jump. it a hard jump check. Hard Con check, check first, though, for your speed, please. Con check first. I take advantage on these because of my pole talent. Hey, nice. What's it called? Pole talent. Uh, I, it is called endurance. Hell yeah. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> no, sad. actually, succeed. I have high Okay, all right. What's your, uh, so what's your move rate? You go um, So I, with a success, it just stays the same, right? Yes. Oh, uh, seven. Okay, all right. You are in. Okay. Uh, you're at the same as Nick, so you'll also have one action. So go ahead and make the jump check to clear the distance. Okay. Oh, and that's going to be his action. That will be. So we're going to go to the end of this one. Yeah, let me let me have a think if I could lock it down to a... No, it, it's only exactly extreme that does anything. Yeah. Okay, so I, I make a jump test. I, I succeed. Okay, all right. You land, you take... Uh, hard success or just success one? Because uh, with Percy, it's going to make it more difficult. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll lock it to his hard success. Okay, all right. Um, you take no damage. You are on the same one. At the end of the round, Nick, please make a constitution roll. Yeah, okay. This is it. Can I lock this? You can. I should roll... I'm going to roll with different dice because those ones have <laughs> not ones been super nice to me. Those ones have been good. All right, They're being pretty nice. Let's try it. If, if they let me down now... Ugh. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Do you have yeah. a within luck range? No, not even not not even close. Okay, so all right. Two. As you land on the side, you see Detective DiMartino, and he appears to be being chewed apart as the second cat oh. leans down and rips a chunk out of him. Oh. Um, it looks like he might be dead. Oh, jeez. Looks like. Oh, sorry, he's dead. Okay. Um, well, is, is, is this still my turn? Uh, no, it will be their turn. Yeah. And the two, the first cat needs to chase after you. Uh, it succeeds a jump, landing next to you, and then the second one's going to make a strike at you. Okay. So, uh, that is... Go for it. <laughs> Fail. Alright, uh, that's... Two points of damage. And a second strike against you. Oh, man. Oh, dear. Uh, that is <laughs> a... That is a success one. Alright, uh, okay. you succeed, so go ahead and roll damage. Oh, um, this one is untouched, basically. Uh, it takes In fact, uh, it's four, not four damage. All right. Okay. It's your turn. Um, and these things are much faster than you. Even if you're going into a flat sprint, they're going to be taking strikes at you. Okay. Um, in which case, I'll kick the one that I've damaged. Because okay. they'll, they'll, if I just run, they'll keep hurting yep. me. All right. Go for it. Okay. They're both damaged the same amount currently. Uh, they both damaged the same amount. Yep. Um I'll kick the one that, that just, just attacked that just attacked The other one's just landed. The one that's it. You kick it off him as he's chewing it. Uh, that's a that's a fail. All right. Uh, this is a success from my side. Uh, that is four points of damage. What are you down to? Um, I've got uh, six health left. Not looking good. Mm, okay. All right. How much... Okay, yeah, no, nope. let's roll it out. It might, it might be time to get out while the... Like, 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 he's it's, it's, super slow. Oh, yeah. I have seven speed. If, if I jump, they'll they'll just, yeah. All right, uh, I'm going to I'm gonna make attacks against you then. Yep. All right, first one, two strikes. Oh, sorry, three strikes. Uh, repulse or dodge? Um, I'm going to... They're both, they're both taken repulse, a decent... Uh, taking a chunk of damage. It's nothing spectacular. I'll, I'll, I'll repost. Okay. Uh, yeah, success two. Okay. Uh, that will hit. Nice. Go success one. Um, that is five damage. Okay. Not enough to knock it out, but it's a hit. Second attack against you. They're nuts. Uh, fail. Okay, uh, that's a hit to you. Yep. Alright, three points of damage. Ooh, last attack. Uh, fail. I failed as well. Alright, second one. Uh, three attacks. So, first attack. You're just being surrounded by these two things now. All right, you succeed. It fails, so roll the damage as they just corner you against these ruins. Uh, That is five damage onto it. All right, they are both now on the same amount amount of health. Low. Oh, 
Alright. Next attack. Oh. That wasn't a good sound. No. Um, I'm going to use the last of my luck uh, to succeed. Success one. Okay, unfortunately success two. Yep. So, uh, damage against you is five points. Yeah, I'm out. Not a major wound though? No. Go ahead and make a... Uh, da, da, da. Oh, you're unconscious. Yeah. And right, there's well, no one I'll here. Alright. Um, the two of you emerge through the door and it's from behind you. You step through first and it sort of like swings closed as if of its own volition and then a moment later it swings back open as Edie almost dances through into the room and, the, and then it swings shut again. What are the two of you doing? Uh, you can also hear from outside footsteps of someone moving. Wait, so the, the, the portal's gone? There was, the, no, there's none behind you. I mean, you open it, it just looks out to the street. Hang on, so the door that we stepped through, is it still there? Yes. It appears to be the entrance. You are standing in the foyer where you first saw Percy Langhorn on the other side. You've entered back into Argus's home, presumably. Okay. You can feel that sort of like, it's as if you push through a membrane or something. Your ears are clearer. And though while you were there, it felt sort of normal. Now it feels so much clearer. Everything is much crisper. It's as if your vision has been restored. As if like, you know, viscous liquid has been pulled away from your eyes. You can hear better, smell better. What am I wearing? You do. Yeah, you you pack yourself. You're wearing your clothing. You've even got your cane. And And these two are just gone. Well, you look back through the door and it opens out to the street. It closed and Edie came back through it just a moment ago. Do we remember what happened? You remember running from the cats. You remember leaping through a door. Yeah, you remember all of it. Okay. They were quite a way behind you, though. They were a full asteroid behind you. I mean, they were a while back. They might be coming. What do you want to do? Do you think that they're... Do you think they're okay? I, I, I'm sure they're on the way. From the room, the study that you were in earlier, you hear like a... No. And then there's um, footsteps getting closer, coming around the side towards the front door. Heavy. From... Outside. Where? From outside, heading towards the entrance. Yes. What are you doing? I hide... You hide? Yeah. There, I mean, this is a room with, like, a couple of chairs along the side, nothing more of significance. What do you want to... Where, where are you going? There's not really anywhere here. Do you dart into one of the other rooms? Oh, this isn't the office. It's the entrance right. into the gotcha. into the whole building. I, let me get back to the office. Okay, so you're going to dart towards yeah. the office. What are you doing? Wasn't that where we got the fog? Y- yeah, but we'll, we'll see it coming now. There's places to hide in there. I'm just gonna go with him. Alright, yeah, you're short on time as well. You basically just dart around the corner, moving into the room. As you do, you slam the door shut behind you. Actually, no, you do it quietly because you're trying to hide. So, no big stealth from. You you creak it closed, and as you turn around, you can see it collapsed on the ground. Both um, Jose, Nick, and Percy. However, Percy is clearly dead. And currently, there is this long Siamese cat. Which sort of like, um, as it looks up towards you, it's got stains of blood oh. ringing the outside as he's currently gnawing at his cheek and pulling his eye back oh. and apart. Yeah. The other two are there as well and they are seriously damaged. You can see scratches all along the sides and also just like pieces of the ear which have been chewed backwards. Their hair is matted with like sweat and almost oily blood or something. They're in their regular clothing and they are both out of it, out for the count. I... Um, can you both immediately make stealth checks as well? Okay. Because the door behind opens and you've just managed to close it in time. Uh, two points of luck, I can do it. Alright. Edie? Hell no. No? Alright. Okay. Um, you dart to the side. There is a bookshelf. There's the desk, which was originally pulled back, which uh, opened the um, secreted or, or, or hidden mm. canisters. It's still pulled back? They are still pulled back and you can still see openings. You move around to the other side of the bookshelf and sort of hug against the wall. You're a slim guy. Um... But Edie, as you dart towards the side, um, you can hear footsteps entering. The door swings open, and the gentleman that was at the back, the gardener, looks into the room. As he does, he, he, he sees the two of you, and he sees the people collapsed on the ground. He goes, what are you doing in here? What are you doing? What is going on here? What is this? This oh, man, we found him like this. Can you give me a fast talk check? Oh, f- <laughs> Just, uh, you are currently here, and they're not aware you're there. All right, uh, he doesn't buy it, and he says, "Look, if you're uh, having nasty businesses and things here, you need to leave now before I call the police." 
And he sees Langhorn as well, and he goes, Mr. Langhorn? And he darts forward, not particularly quickly, and, and, and leans down next to him. He shoes the cat away, not really seeing the cat, and he begins to check him. He goes, he's, he's dead. I would like to be sneaking up behind him as he's doing that oh. to clunk him on the back of the head, because that seems like a pulpy thing to do. He didn't see him? Amazing. No, he, he didn't no see idea. him. He's, he's just sees you. That. All right, yeah, you sneak up behind him, and you've got your cane. Just to be clear, this thing is also a gun. It is. I'm You're not... clonking. Okay, well, I won't clonk. I'll, I'll, I'll put the barrel up to the back of his neck. Up to you, up to you. Guns That's don't go off do. by mistake, David. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be a mistake. Oh, <laughs> I thought he was going to shoot him in the oh, back right. of the head. Yes. Nip this yeah. in the butt. Um, for the audience, uh, William Vanavan has this lovely silver cane that kind of, you know, you flip a hidden switch and it's suddenly a, a, a double barrel shotgun. So that's pretty sweet. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, yeah, so he doesn't know I'm there. I'm going to come up quietly behind him, put the, put the barrel in the back of his head and say... This is quite the piece I've got at the back of your head. I think we can all quieten down and maybe call an ambulance. What do you think? He clearly recognises the feeling of a gun pushed into the base of his skull and he just freezes for a moment. Can you give me an intimidation roll, please? I'll oh. say with advantage, given you got the jump on him and have a gun pressed into the back of his can head. Can I get up in his face a little bit now that he's not... <laughs> can, I, can I assist? Uh, probably not another level of advantage, but I will presume that, yes, you are standing up now and sort of basically gloating a little yeah, bit. Yeah, bro. What's your intimidation? Um, do you want to... The other one is you might want to check the two companions on the ground. No? Okay. Oh, yeah. Can I just, like... Yeah. I don't have any medicine or anything. Oh, no, wait. No, wait, no. It's mechanical repair. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm not mechanical. <laughs> How'd you go? 80 twice. That's okay, not cut it. that's not going to cut it. Do you want to push the roll? I would love to. You can draw the hammer back on the gun. Yes. The risk here is this thing is, the technology is good, but they had to, there are a lot of, you know, things oh, that were God. cut in order to shape oh. this into a walking stick. They are, this thing is a razor thin trigger line. If you're uh, telling you... me that the fail of this pushed roll is that it's going to go off, that is an acceptable outcome to Okay. Me. okay. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> but I could best Van to Van. It's uh, him or my friends. It's him or my employees. <laughs> oh, no. Go ahead and roll. Oh, dear. You cannot oh, lock this. You, I can't. You cannot lock up a stroll. What if I say please? Because I'm <laughs> two points off. Does he still have the advantage? Yeah, you have the advantage. Oh, you have advantage. You have advantage. 17. Oh. <laughs> Come oh, on, no. two points. I am, I am confirming I'll give you a four. I'll give I, you don't, 20. I don't want your four. I want, no, you, I, I want you to kill this guy. Oh, I'm fairly <laughs> certain that it is a... You cannot... You cannot I, I'm confirming you it, but I, I believe that is the rule. You said it would be an acceptable outcome. I did, but then... You didn't I, say I would break I the rules of the game. I didn't know how close it was going to be, though. I thought it was going to be a little like Shoot a 70 and an 80. Oh, no, it turns out he's a foreign prince. What have you done, Van de Van? <laughs> Yeah, My best. Right. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm sticking with the ruling. Um, you, pull, you pull the thing, you, you push it deeper into his back, you draw the trigger back, and what do you repeat? What, what's the line you say no, I as this all goes that. wrong? All right. Because you were, you were pushing him, you were intimidating him. Uh, just back away. Just back away. So you go, just back away, and then you just squeeze the trigger. Away. Yeah. Just, just a mite to... Too uh, tightly. Go ahead and roll. Uh, what is? What's your damage on it? Oh, it's not. A, it's not a. It's not like a heavy duty thing. It's. Uh, oh, I mean, it's what I was actually. What's the damage? Because I'm going to say it's. You're at point blank. It's got to be uh, impaling. I'll see. Point blank is two d six on this type yeah. of shotgun. It's not a big guy. It's a. It's a little. Just a All right. Fella. So I'm going to do max. He's actually. I'm going to roll a con because he's actually pretty big. Okay, so I hate this, but it's. You might just really kind of worked off. out. <laughs> you pull the trigger and it slams into the side of him, catching the edge of his neck, blowing chunks out and a splatter oh, of red mist oh. back towards you. And across this cat, which starts <laughs> under the bookshelf, um, he like reels around, catching it, and then sort of begins to call out. And he's moving out. He's going into shock. He is collapsing. He has a major wound, but he's he's not dead yet. Okay. He's dying. Jesus. Excellent. And he lands on the ground and begins to like pull out and he's going white. You can see just the colour draining away from his face. His blood seeps through and oh, stains right. his gardener's uniform as he looks around the area and looks at his hands and then looks at, he's not talking. He's Um uh He grabs at you and like red uh, uh handprint along your coat as he just smears down a lot. Can you make a sanity check actually? Yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, what are you doing? I do I have got like a handkerchief or some shit. Yeah. Can I try and tonicate this? Yeah, definitely. Can you give me a first aid check? Yeah, 
No, I'll try. <laughs> How'd you go? No. All right, can you lose a D3? That's not too bad. We might up it if he dies. Success? No? All right, yeah, you've got it. You're passing it to him, but he's not. He's just calling at it as he just begins to like move away and looking. He now pulls his hands away as he leans down onto his knees and looking them over. There's strings of like, uh, like, like tendrils of blood between it. And he goes, his eyes go kind of glassy. He looks at you. He slams down into the ground. Dead. And the gun still sort of smokes coiling out of it. Your ears are both ringing. This was a small room. And you're in a suburban what? community. It is a matter of time before someone comes or the police are called. Your two friends are lying on the ground, very faintly breathing, but out for the count. Edie, what do you do? Because I think you're standing there for a moment. Actually, make another sounding check. <laughs> <laughs> you did. You just, you just, you just... Good? All right, I'll take a point. Take a point. Oh, man. What? What the hell, man? That's just an ambulance for two. Cool. Was yours <laughs> your driver? Who's your driver? We need to we need to leave. Oh yeah. Your driver was just outside, wasn't he as well? I reckon he's gonna come running pretty soon. Okay. Can you Do you want him to see this? Uh... No! Fuck no no! No, no one can see this! This is New York! They need an ambulance now. Uh, 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 what do you think just happened? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Someone will be able to sweep this under the rug. I have a very good lawyer. I'm sure he'll be able to represent you. So. Um, there's a rap on the door. And Mr. Vandeven? Is there a rug? Yeah. Oh, my uh, God. oh God. Um, make a luck check. Oh. <laughs> a rug that we can sweep this under? <laughs> By class. All right. Uh, yeah. They're currently bleeding out on a large, very nice rug. Okay. Here. Mr. Vandervan! Uh, we'll, we'll be out in a minute, Sonny. Uh, just just give us a moment. I, I heard gunfire! Yeah, a, a, a minor discharge. We're just cleaning up the mess now. Um, would you be so kind to call an ambulance? No reason. Can you make a fast dog check? Uh, can it be charm? I'm a, just, yeah, oh, I think you're rather oh. panic. Uh, I, it can be fast dog. Uh, yeah. I think it's fast dog, unfortunately. Right. This is under pressure. This is over. Uh, this is covering. Uh, it's gonna fail. Okay, he is- you are his boss, you tell him to do something, he does it. But he is concerned, he goes, Alright, I'm, I'm- I'm gonna head to- near, next door, see if I can find a phone. Oh, there was a phone in the desk, right? There, there was like a reception yep. desk. Do you wanna tell him to go in? Check- check the reception desk, there's- there's probably a phone over there. He goes, alright, I'm coming in, and the door swides over. No, 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 the, the, the desk in the foyer. Where yeah, no, he's coming into the house. Oh, gotcha. Sorry, Where he was just at the front door, yeah, that's my gotcha. being unclear. He strides across the footsteps, and you- Push the door closed because it had been opened by the guy coming in. It closed out and he goes, All right, you hear like the um, tone being run, and he is going to begin to call for an ambulance. You get a rug out and you have to pull it under the large form of the gardener who is now bleeding out of him. You're like wrenching it back a bit. Yeah, I, I, is there a trapdoor still? Wasn't there a trapdoor in here? No, you just thought there might be. Um, there were the canisters that, that shot the gas. I mean, there might be a trapdoor. You can have a look. There's not one on the rug. There are um, four bodies who, in here. Who closes the door? I guess. You, I I guess. Do you, the cat darts for it. Do you want to try and catch it in, or do you want to let no, it? No, it can. It can get out. All right, of here. No, he just no. goes out, and you hear your employee go as the cat, bloodied, tears out and disappears <laughs> into the distance somewhere. No, I just thought it would complicate the situation. All right, Edie, you get the rug out. There's no trap door under it, but you can see now where you're below. You kind of. Even when you're under pressure, you have an eye for mechanical items. You can see that these door, the desk, and the bookshelf have, like, they're on slides, which, when pushed back, activate a latch, releasing the fog. It was a, a trap, effectively. Um, there does not appear to be any trap door tied to them. Okay, well, uh, what, I, what, what we want to do is... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What? We need to leave. No, we need to wait for an ambulance. What are you going to tell them happened? They, nothing they don't need to know. They just need to save some lives, and that's what they're paid to do. So that's what they'll do. Edie, you look at the ground. One of this man's clearly been shot. Um, Percy has had his eyeball chewed out, 
and like eaten a good chunk of his face. These two have wounds that seem more akin to being dropped down a cliff than just sort of falling down the stairs. Presumably my driver knows the number for the Hoity Toiby private hospital. Yeah, absolutely. So it's okay, so he's not calling the police, he's calling a direct hospital yeah. and says, it's Mr. Van Der Van, he's yeah. done it again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, you, you can hear that. Um, they will come quickly. However, you are in New Jersey, and your contact would be New York. Oh, no. An ambulance is on the way. It will take a little... Or do you go for the local one? The the, the, the quickest. The quickest? Toys okay, toys. it's going to be a local New Jersey one. You have less pull here, okay? Okay. All right, as long as it's... Was there a gardener's shed? Yes, towards the back. You've got the rug as well. I feel like the gardener is dead. And there's nothing we can do about that. Okay, well, g- gardening is a, a, a rough profession. Um, it gets lonely. You know, if, if, if there was a breaking point, he could have gone out to his shed and, and found his hunting rifle. Mr. Van, Van Yeah, what? The, the ambulance is on the way. Cool. Uh, I'll wait outside. Do you need any help? That'll be fine. We'll let you know. Can I get you anything from the car? Uh, perhaps a, uh, the, the whiskey and the second cabinet on the right would be fine. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, right away, sir. And, um, and, and he's going to retreat. Wait, we're in a study. Yes, you're in the study with the door closed and you've got a foot against the door just so if he tries to open it, it's going to... Yes, you are. Do you say anything? Okay, so this plan that is... <laughs> Let's never do this again. But man in rug to the shed unrolled a man <laughs> with a non-dominant hand write a note of certain No no, we don't have the time. We don't okay, have the time. Fine, no, fine, it's fine. fine. No no it's fine. Okay, well let's just do that. Alright. We roll him out to the garden shed. Alright, can I get a strength check from one of you? This guy's big. Just one of us? Uh one of you can do it with advantage. One. Uh, 35. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm a small woman. I, I will help. <laughs> you... oh, okay. So go ahead and roll with advantage. You need to succeed there. Oh, yes, I'm good. Um, I'm gonna lock it down to a success too. Okay, nice. Uh, yeah, you've got him up. You go through the back. You presume there's a back door and you find it. It is locked, but it's only a latch. You slide to the side, creak it open, and you're moving out. From here, you can see over on one of the other... Uh, houses a woman stepping out. It's like middle of the day and she's looking in the street from where the fucking gunshot came from and she says, so can I get a stealth check from both of you as you need to move this? Or from one of you if one of you wants to stay behind. But oh, I think because you're both assisting with the pulling. Yeah, I think we're both base, right? I am. Um, maybe you can, maybe you can. Who's got luck as the other one? Oh, yeah. I got so much luck. Alright, so Shall you're gonna, make, you're gonna go for it? Okay, yeah. so Edie, you step backwards and you... <laughs> the thing and begin to almost fall because it's not far and you just need to drag the body you begin to almost fall towards it just trying to keep up enough momentum you're going to make it to the garden shed go ahead and give me a stealth check please uh 28 points i can charm her okay i'm a charmer all right you get to the shed as the woman spots you and begins to walk over Mm. edie are you entering this or are you going to stay back i'm going to stay back okay you step back in the door just um, and as you're getting to the garden shed, you kick it open, and the woman sets a crush, and she says, Um, excuse me. Oh, madam, please, uh, avert your eyes. You, you don't need to see excuse what's me, going I, on Excuse me, I think here. we heard gunshots. Yeah, a, a, a slight uh, misfire, uh, but we've got it under control. What's yeah. in the rug, if you don't mind me asking? She's trying to look around. Is that blood? No, well, yes, uh, it was a lovely vase that uh, Mr. Argus was showing us, and uh, unfortunately... Uh, the hunting rifle went off. Uh, some minor gashes. We're just rolling out the debris now. I, I'm sorry. I, I thought Mr. Argus was away. Yes. <laughs> and he was... Well, his powers know no bounds. <laughs> Can you give me a charm check? Hard. <laughs> uh, this, is not, this is just getting her away. <laughs> <laughs> she, she suspects something regardless. I seriously had no follow-up there. Let me... <laughs> That's alright, that's alright. Yes! I am losing it. Walk away! And you pull up the gun. (laughs) I can very chill, woman. Fortunately, I'm 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 very charming when my pulp talents is uh, charming, and I'm gonna get my bonus die from my charms. I'm a smooth talker. You are. (laughs) Yes. Yes. That's the smoothest Leave, please. You've ever heard. Uh, Fantastic. 18 under 85. Alright, somehow. 
is uh, has been one man. point of luck and success three. Everyone knows that rich people don't lie, <laughs> and when things break, rich people know that these are things are expensive and they know how they're, how they're to be dealt with. She sees the rug. She hears your story, and she presumes you must be very close friends. She goes, "Well, be more careful next time." Oh, we will. And, and did any? Uh, did the did the uh, the sound cause you to suffer any damages, emotional or otherwise? Uh, gave me a, a frightful jump. I, I'm so sorry I, to hear I, that. Uh, we can we can call this a settlement, shall we? So you've got Chris the body. You like <laughs> shift it to get out, and you, as you do, you can see blood beginning to leak down. And there's a handprint here from when he grabbed at you, and you like shift it so that's hidden. Pull out the card and give it to her. She she takes it. She goes a hundred dollar bill. <laughs> just because. Just because. Okay, she takes. Oh, it's the, called the bribe. Yeah. Oh, she, <laughs> which she takes the money and she takes the card. She goes, Vandevam. I love your tower. Oh, thank she, you. She You've puts seen it. That? In, <laughs> I have. And she looks away. She is. Look, concerned, but she steps away for long enough that she moves away and she is watching. And people are beginning to sort of. People love to snoop and they love to gossip and these sort of small neighbourhoods, not a lot happens in them. So she heads across, not to her house, but across the road where she knocks and another neighbour looks out and she can hear and of him. Oh no. <laughs> but they have left. You're able to get into the garden shed and as you do it, rakes and things clutter down and around and you drop the body into the centre of them. Alright, and I grab the uh, shotgun that is of course hanging in the uh, garden shed. The uh... The shotgun it matches my the gauge of my shotgun exactly. Uh, Roll an extreme pistol, luck check. Talking. Actually, yeah, this make is, a this, luck this check. This guy is like an enforcer, right? Mm, he's like, like a gardener <laughs> that you killed. Yeah, okay, <laughs> if we're giving gardener, them, well, but gardener. Secretly, but secretly, he was you know he was the he was the muscle. He was muscular. I'll give you that. How'd you go? I am super lucky. Yeah, I hear you. How'd you. Yeah, you look around, there's nothing in here. This is a garden shed. Do you have your cane sword? Yeah, but it's my, it's got my initials in green. Oh, oh my god! god. Oh, god. Oh. <laughs> as, as a police detective, this is what we like to call in the biz an open and shut case. <laughs> this what? is what we call There are multiple the, witnesses. You, you, you open the garden shed door, you shut the garden shed door, you arrest him. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, Edie, what the are you doing as this happens? You see the woman initials. retreat, what are you Doing. I'm gonna follow him into the shed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We can't use. Where is it engraved? It's it's. It was a gift from my uncle. Where is it engraved? On the handle. Is there any sandpaper? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I, I simply can't leave it behind. It's sentimental. Okay, fine. Edie, there, my, my... there will be there would be sandpaper. There will be trowels and things that you could scrape it off roughly. Do you want to try and do that? That will take some time, though. It might just just bury it. Is it, is it just <laughs> just get rid of it. Uh, it is not, but it, it is in this moment. That's yes, sure. yes, yes, very much so. Okay, you know what? He's just a gardener. Percy is dead. There was a fight. <laughs> yeah, there was a fight. There was a <laughs> fight. Fan fan? We, we need to get Percy in here as well. Stack it on top, uh, grab some of the tools, uh, bloody them up a little bit. We don't have time. We don't have time. Well, I think we just need to go back inside. No one will look in here for a while if they don't know that Percy is dead. We can deal with this. Later today, I guess. What time is it? Midday? You guys left at like... Later today. Yeah, it's actually, sorry, it's like two. Sorry. You had to get over here. You had to go to space and get back. Percy, three. <laughs> Percy suffered the same injuries as the other two. We call an ambulance for all three of them, and, and, and Percy could not be resuscitated. And you know what? Let's just leave him in this rug. No one else... We'll deal with this later. We don't have time. Oh, no, we took him out of the rug. That would have looked sus. What if he's <laughs> so, yeah, you're also, so you're both in this tiny cupboard you're whispering, you've got the body propped up next to you, there's yeah. like rakes and shit over and you go, well the rug's suspicious, isn't it? We just prop him up and like Yeah, just, just Weekend, weekend of Bernies. Oh. Second campaign I've been in this week with Weekend of Bernies. Oh. <laughs> you never killed anyone! You may just want to hide the body, like 
Hey, just, cop. Just, <laughs> it's hidden. It's fine. It's, it's hidden. The gardener's shed is, is safe for now. We can come back later and, and clean it up. That's just fine. Put it under the, the, the bench. That'll be fine. I know what things are called. All right, so you put it over to the side. It's yep. like propped up against a bunch of mulch, and you sort of move some over it. This would take a. It is not big enough to hide a man this big in. Not really. But yeah, as long as no one comes in. Actually, if they come in, they would see some stuff, unless they looked. But even a cursory look. There's a, it, there must be get. a padlock on the door. They want to keep this locked. Uh, there is Can a padlock. It was one. unlocked because he was using it. Yes, there's a padlock. All right, we'll, we'll lock it on the way out. There's also a key on this, the gardener's belt if you want to take that. Yeah, yeah we'll. Oh uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, okay. Take we can oh, add wow, the theft locked. to the list of crimes. All right, you take the you take the the key. You mm. both step outside and you close the door, locking the padlock over it, and take a moment looking around. It's not like the street is flooded, but there are definitely two or three groups of people. Like the kind as we see, but they're craning around. Some are heading towards the front. Uh, let's drive back in. Wait for the ambulance. All right, so you head back into the room. The other two are still on the ground. You have a moment or two before the ambulance arrives. What do you want to do? Just quickly check. Are they both alive? You head down towards both of them. They are both in very bad condition, but they are alive, yes. Finest medicine this this, this side of the Hudson. Uh, that's what they're going to get. You have a few minutes. Is there anything in the study that looks a bit sus? Well, there's the blood dead splatter. body. Okay, aside from that, oh. he was already here. <laughs> the blood. <laughs> uh, uh, just quickly grab any notebooks, journals, di- diaries, right. <laughs> Step over your friend. <laughs> Sorry, friend and bodyguard. Sorry, detective and bodyguard. Um, and you head towards the desk. Um, going through. Yeah, there's some stuff. Nice. We'll have it. Thank you. Uh, it go. was worth it. Do we get a handout? <laughs> do you do. <laughs> yeah, it was worth it. <laughs> All right. Oh, we'll have that to go. Um, going oh through, Physical and pain. what we'll say is don't look at it until, because I think you take this, you grab a scuff, and yeah, then the yeah. ambulance has arrived. So, oh, but I'll pass oh, them to yeah, you. I'll, I'll, I'll come around. Um, so, there are. Thank you, Tricky. Um, there are two, what look uh, like three reefs of, of notes, mm-hmm. a piece of paper with some lines crossed out it. A scroll of what looks like papyrus wrapped up and, and embedded on the side. And then as you go over to the bookshelf, can I get a library use check from someone to filter through this for anything interesting? I can do that. What is, what's, what was yours? Uh, Fitty. Oh, you do it. I would love to. It's a real success. Well done. All right. You can find a series of books written by the name Leopold Fontanelli. <gasps> the whole thing. Do you want to just take them? Yes. All right. Uh, they are titled, and I can give them these two later, they are titled Gods Within and Without, Wisdom Unbound, and The Quest for the Aryan Eden. Oh, uh, Yeah, that's one of them, isn't it? Yeah. All right, you grab those three. Now, <laughs> when you're inevitably questioned by the police, would you like to have the clearly racist propaganda on your person? I'm going to look at you as you answer this. And as this happens, the door uh, into, into not into the study, but into the house opens, and you can hear the clicking of glasses as your driver returns and he's got your whiskey. I guess I would not. You can, you can store them elsewhere. I'm just saying this oh, yes. might be something that would be looked on suspiciously well, if you are questioned. Yes, we'll but, we'll all right, you can take those. So not down that you have those as well. Um, with that, you can hear the boo, boo. I don't know what sound ambulances make. I think not that. That's like a raid siren. Anyway, an ambulance is coming down the street, and as you head out front to meet them, your driver holding the whiskey and the um, the glasses, I guess, is just ignored for the moment, and people begin to head out. They've got a stretcher between them, and they run forward. They uh, they say, uh, uh, who's been shot? Uh, uh, it was uh, th- three of them uh, in the study. Um, they go, right, um, and they step you out. You get sort of ushered out to the side, and they head in. Actually... What, what did you tell your driver? You just said... Because he heard the shot. That's why he entered. Yeah. But then you just said, call an ambulance, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think they are aware that there was... A, or do you want to... The, the, there was a, a hunting shotgun went Yeah, all right. It was okay. a terrible accident. Yeah, okay. All right. They dart into the room and they see this and they just start working. They start triaging. They're going to move the two of you onto stretchers and back into the ambulance. They're also going to take Percy out, but he goes out with the sort of the white cloth over him. Oh, and no. people are gathering out. There's tons of them out here. Everyone on the street is like, this is the most interesting thing that's happened since I don't know a while ago there's also like people are talking that you hear like Argus and and, and this, you also hear quite several times Van to Van because you are a popular guy your name's on a tower oh. you can see it from here 
Um, they get pulled in, and one of the paramedics comes up and says, uh, Mr. Vandervan, right? Yes. Listen, your friends are in bad condition, and uh, we'll get them to the hospital right away, but uh, um, we'd like to take your information, uh, make sure that um, we can do what's best for them, but also um, we need to follow up on what happened. Can we take a card? Fine. You prefer a card and pass it over, and they go, excellent. Um, we'll be in touch. Listen, if you'd like, there's no space in the ambulance, but if you'd like to ride behind us, um, you can accompany to the hospital, and we'll make sure that there is a police detective waiting. So okay. you can get the questions over and done with as early as possible. I think we should do that, Van Van. I think we should go together. Fine. Excellent. Well, we'll lead the way, we'll put the sirens on, and you just follow the blinking blue and red. And he hops back in, and they boo, and he begins to siren up, and you can pull out after them. You're, you get into the back seat. Fine. Your driver pulls out, and Eni, you sit across from him, and you're both just sort of rocking when you are covered in blood. You've got scratches... Actually, you kind of got away without much of it. Uh, did either of you take any damage from the space cats? Yes. Okay. I took quite a lot. As you look down now, you can see the marks are still kind of there. Something definitely happened, but they are diminished to some degree. They're, you could not persuade yourself that these were a normal cat unless you were very determined. But they are like, rather than large gashes or just absent missing chunks, it's as if something is like burrowed through it with tiny sharp claws over and over again. And you can't help but shake from your mind you went back in the wrong door. You weren't in that room. You entered back into the house. Where did you come from? It, it, something about it. There was definitely... You can persuade yourself that this was just a dream or a drug-induced hallucination, but it doesn't all add up. Not quite. Can you both make constitution checks for me? My pulp talent will uh, grant me uh, advantage on this. Yep, go for it. Ah, everything's coming up. Uh, everything's coming up, Jose. I'm glad you're still looking on the bright side <laughs> of this. Someone needs to... Jesus. Uh, I, I, uh, I succeed, yeah. How'd you go? No. no? All right. Not even um, close. You, you come to in the ambulance. You begin to blink open, and you're being, like, rocked back and forth on, on, on a trolley, and there's a paramedic over you, like, jamming an IV into your arm. Additionally, you have a keen memory of dying. Can you make a sanity check, please? Uh, yes, absolutely. So I'm it's organizing our dice over here. That's right. Like, yeah. Extreme success. Extreme success. Hot dog. Give me just a moment. Do, 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 do. All right. Uh, you are going to lose a d6 plus one. Two. Okay. All right. <laughs> you take it surprisingly well. You are also... Um, hey, you live, you die. I, 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 we'll start it, we'll help when you go to break. Um, so, yeah, you come back to it, and you are being just like, what, what do you say to them as you're, um, as you're sort of pulled to? Uh, I think I, I kind of come to, I start kind of panicking trying to get up, and they push me down, and eventually I sort of relax, and, and say, and just as they sort of all go back a thing, I go, nine lives. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> as you hold that up, um, the uh, ambulance fades away, heading towards the hospital, and we are going to take a quick ten-minute break. Um, yeah. And then we'll be back <laughs> shortly. So, thank you, everyone, and um, we'll see you soon.
All right, we're back. Hello, everyone. Things are going well. Um, oh, so yeah. that's one interpretation. <laughs> that's, cool. that's right. So we're back. Uh, what just happened was they went to space. Two of them died. They returned. Someone died, died, uh, and two people died. Don't good catch. Sorry. Uh, and currently, two of our investigators are in an ambulance, tearing away to the hospital. And the other two are in pursuit, getting their story straight, and rifling through some notes. Now, you also found I gave them to this up. Uh, Gave them this after the break. There we go. A picture of Ferdinand Argus, which was on his desk. So you now have a face to apply to the name. He is a very serious looking man with this sort of like twin pointed mustachio and beard. Um, it's a very uh, kind of cool style, I guess. Uh, and he has a uh, deep purple am like uh, gem or something in a, in a locket that he wears oh, cool. around his neck. Um, what a daddy. Hashtag handsome. Um, so you've got this and you also got some different notes and bits and pieces. Do you want to go over those now as you're in the thing, getting your story straight and sort of seeing if you can place anything together? So, I may I idea. request permission to apply crosses to the eyes of Percy? Oh, yeah, please do. Oh, yeah, Sorry, talk about this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, is, he is this dead is skis. Okay, what do you want us to start with, man? Like, we've got quite. Well, it doesn't really matter. You guys got a few. Okay, so we've no, got... Speaking terms. So, and just to reiterate, this was found in the desk of Argus. And just to describe them once more, it is a trio of letters. Um, there is a um, note, which is set off to the side uh, on a sheet of lined paper. There is also a papyrus scroll, which has been sort of bound together. Um, and then there are three books by Leopold Fontanelli, which is a name you've seen previously who is tied to the League of um, Forgotten Gentlemen. Should we read these now? Should we try League to get a story straight? Up to you guys. Um, why don't you read, start with, what you probably want to do is start with the single sheet of paper, then the, sorry, start with the double, 
Why don't you, why don't you grab that? Then the single, then the, the line piece of paper. And if you want to read them out loud. So the double letters? Yeah, go for it. The double letters read... <clears throat> March 25, 1934. My dear Lord Thetnoris, it is with great honor that I send you this Latin fragment of the Panacotic pan text. The owner, one uh, Lionel Montoya Jimenez of Alicantara, Spain, parted with it dearly, but I was certain it held the secret of the crystals of Nafcon. Soon you'll be able to create a new shoe stone to find others like yourself, vessels with bloodlines pure enough to host your countrymen. While I am in Europe, I hope to uncover other fragments of the ancient wisdom before I must return. Your obedient servant, Leopold Fontanelli. May 11, 1934. My liege, I apologize that I have had so little good fortune in finding more fragments of the Panacotic texts. So much knowledge has been lost over the eons. The 15th century Panatonic manuscript you have is sorely lacking, but it remains the best source, though even that pales in comparison to the one you consult in dreams. I still marvel at my own visit to that lingering shadow of Lomar, when I had the honor of witnessing you first use the fabled Heart of Dreams to rescue the seeds of that poppy long extinct in the waking world, as well as acquire a sacred cat. Excuse me? A sacred cat from many ringed Cycronosh to guard your treasures. Your humble advisor, Leopold Fontanelli. You know that cat that you let out? It, it may have been a, a sacred cat from many ringed Cycronosh, yes. Um, but what are the odds? It looked like a Siamese to me. April 16. Wait, that's before May. Read the next word. 1935. There we go. Oh, <laughs> what year was yours? 34. 34. Ah, I was not listening, I admit. That's what I mean. Master, success! I have uncovered an entrance into the inner world not far from here. My theory was correct. There must be numerous paths into the vast depths below us. The myths, of re the myths of the Red Indians, confused and primitive as they are, uh, hinted at a racial memory of the time when they lived below the surface. Why mount an expedition to the impenet- Sorry, I'm, I apologize. The yeah. impenetrable <laughs> North Pole, or the formidable Himalayas. Certainly the hidden civilizations of Hyperborea or Agati would be a great prize, but for all the expense, are the Nazis any closer to seizing either? Even the sanctuaries of the Lemurians and other refugees from lost lands rumored to exist under the great Tetons or the Mount Shasta are far enough away to ignore when we have an entrance in our proverbial backyard. After all, if forbidden Yan Ho truly lies between the poles, any path down might equally take us there. I am already making arrangements for our trip on May 3rd to Sangertes for ourselves, your transplanted countrymen and some assistance from the League. With boundless anticipation, Leopold Fontanelli, and then it says Ya Shabnagras. Ah, oh, yeah. What is that? That, that doesn't seem pertinent. <laughs> what a weird email signature. Do I. Can, do the I hell's that email? <laughs> yes, here we go. And oh, the and, then, and, then, and then there are just some, some names of what appear to be young women. No, oh, no, not young. No, 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 sorry, not women, necessarily. How, you, how can you tell they're young from their names? I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> the handwriting. Yeah, none of them are named Edith. <laughs> um, Which would make them very my young. Name. Sorry. And you're quite young. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Edith is what I associate with like an old person name. name. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway. Norbert Blythe. Adelaide Hartley, Marguerite de Lacey, Hugo Northridge. Oh, Brendan Sterling. Ooh. What? Boy, he's gone. He crossed out? He's crossed out. We don't know if that means dead. He's crossed out. And it also says Ivy Tinsdale. Cross. And then next to everyone's names is like a different name. It's like for Norbert Bly, it says Negloss. For Adelaide, it says Dekelis. 
I don't know if that means necessarily that, that that's like they have become the new identity. Something or it could be loca- places maybe that they were sent mm-hmm. to, or I, I don't know if any of them are places. Shut up, are you writing? Yeah, I was say, like, <laughs> you're dead. <laughs> yeah, pre- role play breathing through a tube. Wow, I, it's really that's like a breathing through yeah, a tube. Yeah, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Like I, I can still hear Nick's voice. It's like he's right here next to me. Look, Being an impressive know-it-all. We do have to. People, I'm dead. We have to compartmentalize that right now. Oh, I'm more concerned about what the police will have to say when we get to the hospital. Okay, let's tell them the truth. Percy was already dead when we got there. I mean, we didn't see him before we went, did we? No, no. I, I, I started. Uh, you. I mean, you. He went into the study. You spoke to him, and then he went into the study. I mean, the the, the, the neighbors would have would have heard my uh, my my flawless alibi about the the hunting rifle accident. So that's what we should stick with. Okay, and then how do we explain what happened to your bodyguard and and and, and Nick, the detective? Yeah, the same thing. A, a, a shotgun can 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 make a considerable blast radius. Uh, that they all got caught in. So the only problem is the gardener's wounds were not consistent. So we'll have to come don't back mean, and we don't need to mention. No, we'll, we'll come back and tie up that loose end ourselves. But in the meantime, uh, it's not inconceivable that my 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 uh, lovingly crafted uh, weapon is less than stellar in a, in workmanship, much as it pains me to say. Um, but I have a very good lawyer who can speak this. And the cat attacked them because your driver saw the cat the cat the cat went crazy because of the gunshot attacked our friends while they were already on un- I don't know well that, that can do some ways to explain the scratches of cool. course cool and then what about our injuries the cat yeah, it's... Uh, I have a spare set of clothes, I imagine. Like, oh, I've yeah. got like a limo Gone, kind of yeah. Yeah, yeah, set up. Before you pull it, like I, a roll rack down, of I roll suits down my sleeves <laughs> to cover the scratches yeah. and things. Yeah. All right. Um, you continue to move on, and the hospital's not too far away. You specifically chose one that was close by, and when you get there, the two of your friends are being wheeled out on gurneys. Um, Nick seems to be completely out of it at the moment, and uh, a couple of um, paramedics are handing him over to nurses who are sort of holding the IV bag above him as he gets sort of like ratcheted up the stairs and into the thing. Uh, your bodyguard, Jose, you catch uh, William coming up, and you can see him sort of and move. He is conscious, and the paramedics are currently lifting him up and moving away as one of them like shines a light into his eyes and begins I'm, writing down things down and talks to a nurse nearby. I'm far too devastated to be able to like reach up or get up or say anything. Okay. Oh, no, no, oh, yeah, no, no. sorry. No. I was just nodding along. I thought you were saying that. Oh, okay. Uh, no, 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 you could probably get out a word or two, but you are surrounded by people. Um, and you're very, like... Eh, yeah, okay. Uh, I'm trying to get up and get to it, but I think they probably... Oh, yeah, they do not let you do that. We'll discuss this in your performance review. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> I passed the cap. Yeah, and you are wheeled up and away. Um, the two of you will probably spend a little while in the waiting area as these two are rushed backwards to be looked into. And um, do you try to dip or are you going to wait around? I think we should wait. If we leave and the police look for us, who knows what could happen in between those two things. We should just stay. Right. So the plan is to wait. Um, and uh, the pants off. Uh, after a while, uh, one of the doctors comes out and will say to you, um, uh, your two colleagues are okay. They're going to be all right. They have sustained quite serious injuries um, and we are currently treating them. We would like to hold them overnight, although I presume neither of them are will... I presume you guys both don't want to be. Is that right? But held overnight. Overnight, yeah. Or would you be like, I got to get back out there onto the case? Or would you be happy to rest uh. up here? Actually, you know what? Well, I'll take the option away from you. They're being held overnight. Yeah. I need my uh, man fighting fit by first thing tomorrow morning. He may take longer than that, sir, but he is getting better. I encourage rest. Now, what we heard was that there, we, when this call came through, we were told to prepare for a gunshot wound. They seem to have been mauled by large cats or something, a, a dog or something. Um... Uh, Mr. Uh, the, the detective over here, and she points to just now, where a man like a trench coat, hat down, and pulling a, cigar- a cigarette out of a small case is pulling it up to his lips and flipping through a notepad. Um, we'll have some questions for you. Um, yes, there, there was a cat involved, if, if that helps your treatments. Right. We 
Uh, thank you. Um, we'll continue. Uh, look, um, as soon as the detective gives you the go-ahead, you should be able to meet with them soon. Um, they're resting now. Uh, he turns around and he's going to wait nearby so that you can talk to him afterwards and you can be escorted up. Now, the detective comes through with a fair bit of swagger. Um, he sees the two of you and he, and he pulls the cigarette out of his lips and snuffs it out, replaces it for a pen, which he clicks and he says, Right then, uh, I'm uh, Detective Kresdick. Uh, can I get your names? Oh, uh, William Vanderven. Right, the William fourth. Vanderven, the fourth. Uh, Lady? I am Edith Chung. Right, and uh, how do you know uh, the two gentlemen in the hospital? Oh, uh, Jose is my man. Your man? Eh, driver, or...? Uh, uh he, he, he wears many hats. Right, wears many hats. Got it. Uh, <laughs> and how do you know them? Nick is a friend. Just a Nick. friend. Uh, uh, Mr. Um, DiMartino. Nick DiMartino? Is, Hang I on. I don't know your name. Do you know yeah, his occupation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gonna write, okay. Do you know his occupation? Uh, he's a... <laughs> the detective. He's a police detective. <laughs> yeah, she, he goes, well, <laughs> shit. <laughs> huh, okay. Uh, how do you know Detective DiMartino? Uh, well, we I... attend the same social club. Yeah. All right, what social club is that? Oh, it's a, it's a private affair, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. And I'm a private detective. No, I'm not. I'm a public detective. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, that would be such a great line. Well, <laughs> Fuck. <yeah. laughs> It's a private affair. Uh, we, we're not accepting card invitations. Thank okay. You. Can you give me a charm check to, to see how this whole interview is going to go over? He is going to also ask you, how do you know Mr. Argus and why were you in the home? And to get your stories on the what took place. That being said, he's not separating you and putting you in rooms with swinging bulbs or anything. He's just getting first impressions on the story. Go ahead and make a charm check. Um, I'm gonna give you ten points of luck to make that success three. Wow. Okay. Why yeah. Not? All right. Yeah. This you, seems like the time. It absolutely yeah. is, and you kind of play a little defense. You give him nothing more than what he's already gotten. Even the story on what happens, you're pretty happy to. And not even in like a, I, I need my lawyer. You just go. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to get my lawyer. I, my hands are tied here, guy. <laughs> uh, you and me. We get it, right? That's how this kind of thing works. And eventually, he yields, and he's gonna say, right. Well, um. I'll talk to your lawyer. We can get those questions through to you. Um, I'm going to ask you to just stick around. Uh, I'll give you my card. Uh, if you call into the station, the four of you, uh, in the next couple of days or so, we'll get this all straightened out. Apologies again for the rush and everything. And uh, consolations, I, I hope your friends uh, come out of this uh, all the better. Thank uh, you. He very clicks much. it and he's going he's gonna to head over to the doctor to get a report on how everything went, but he's going to yield the floor and leave you to do everything. At the moment, there's no murder that's known of or anything yet, so they're not being super hostile. Um, the two of you are escorted up to a um, up several sides of stairs where there are hospital beds laid out in different rooms, and the two of these are currently uh, in their own beds with like one of those sheets drawn through the center and recovering. They both look pretty bad. Um, Jose has been able to pull himself up into a seating position and has a uh, like a uh, cafeteria tray with like a jello cup and some fruit sitting in front of him. Uh, Nick is looking up into the ceiling, just kind of breathing shallowly, but does stir as the two of you enter. Um, everyone is awake for what it's worth. Nick, can you make a sanity check for me? Actually, sorry. There is no sanity check. It's just a straight one. You are going to lose a D6 plus one for experiencing what you feel is your own death. Okay. Oops. And I just... Six. Okay, no. that is five or more. So you uh, are going plus to... one is seven. So I. So am... that's gonna happen. All right. Uh, can you immediately make an intelligence check? Uh, yes, I can. So those not familiar with the mechanics, when you roll above five in a single instance of uh, <laughs> sanity loss, uh, you go temporarily insane. That's absolutely right. Well, there's an uh, in check. There's a chance. In you check. want to fail this. Uh, I failed. Okay. No, I, no, no. I, <laughs> I success three. <laughs> I super succeeded. Alright, you are fully aware of what happened. For one, yeah. you know that you died. You also know that when you came back, your the, the wounds are um, insignificant. And you are aware of some tether that pulled, that tied yourself to this sort of alternate or dreaming state. You felt it snap as you were pulled back. Something about you and your other like levels of your mind has been what you believe to be irrevocably broken. Oh, um, go ahead and roll a d10 for me, please, and thank uh, you. I hope that is not what I think. Anyway. Um, all right. 
D10. I rolled a five. All right. Can I please have your character sheet? Yes, you may. Words you just absolutely want to get. Oh, I know. always love to. Do you want a pen as well? Right, I'm gonna do it in. Oh, I'm gonna do it in a red pen, like a teacher grading a oh, test. No. <laughs> Put See, a on <laughs> See me after class. You died. Uh, Fail. <laughs> that was about to go down. It's not. <laughs> well, I got the cups off our table. Um, oh, upon upon seeing Mr. Van Der Van. Uh, come in. Can I do everything I can to uh, move my trade aside and stand up and present myself well? <laughs> yeah, make, I, a, make, a, make a constitution check. I, have I know. I know. I'm gonna stand. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say hello, Mr. Van Der Van. Very good to see you. I'm glad to see that you are well. Uh, yeah. Uh, success too. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You able to pull yourself up? Uh, uh, you still have to sit yourself down, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you collapse Slumped. back down. Now you are strictly off the clock now, but that's fine. You 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 need to rest as long as you as long as you need. I'll be good to go by the morning, sir. Oh, that's that's very good to hear. But I'll, I'll take the word from the doctors as I, well. I hope you're you injured too, sir. Are you all right? Well, yes, quite all right. And thank you for asking. Have you been looked at by the doctors? Uh, well, no, but it was just a few scratches. Well, they don't know anything. Come over here. Let me let me see to you. <laughs> Oh, fine. <laughs> um, and I will, I will treat uh, treat Mr. Van Der Van as 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 that is my most important duty at this time. All right, go for it. Make a first aid check. I've tell got us. like there's, there's medical stuff that's meant. No, to be, do not tell them. Yeah, uh, there is medical stuff that is meant to be used for me to one side, and I'm, t- I'm taking it. <laughs> and I'm using it on Mr. Van Der Van. Uh, Such a sweet champion. boy. It's too nice. Uh, success. On okay, uh, I think it's a do three. Do you remember, Jim? Uh, I'll look it up. I'm looking no, at healing that's, anyway. No, that's a medicine check. First aid just gives you a, a just point. Gives you eight points. Yeah. All right, so restore a point. Uh, I'm going to look up healing anyway because you guys are in do- um, doc. Oh, yeah, I'm kind of... I don't have a major mind. wound, by the way. Okay, well then, yeah. So I'll, I'll heal quick. I wouldn't mind some morphine. <laughs> just just juice me up. Yeah. Yeah. Just in case there's anything in around. Just for what it's worth. Maybe a rabies shot. I don't know. Wounds and healing, 65. All right, um, you close the door as the two of you enter um, and you have the room to yourself. It is private and no one is going to interrupt you for the moment at least. You hang a little do not disturb thing on the outside. What? So what happened? Did, have you found out anything? Well, Edie and I got back to the space door okay and uh, we didn't know we were leaving you two to the space cats. Uh, that was quite all right. I'm glad you got away, but uh, Detective DiMontino, you didn't get away. That fear... Uh, uh, Longhorn. Pardon me? What? Percy. He oh. didn't get away either. I tried to carry him out, but the cat's got Wait, Which I bed could. is he in? I, oh, he, he, he uh, came out in the white sheet, I'm afraid. But he, he was already dead when we got back to the office. Oh. Okay. We found ourselves back in, in Argus's uh, entry hall. We rushed into the office and, and found three of you lying on the floor. Let's look. No, no, go. It's, it's like a dream, but it's not a dream. We were really... What happened? Did we, were there cats? Oh, th- there was one cat when we got there, yeah. Just just a regular one. And, and Percy was we there, know. too. He was... Yes, but he, he didn't arrive back uh, in a, as good a shape as you two. Did you find anything else out? Did yeah, it? yeah, we, we, we got lots. Look, all in all, over the first day of the William Van Der Ven Private Investigations, you know, Society Inc. Private Offices, um, <laughs> we, we, we got we got some good leads, so um, maybe we get to read through. Nothing we'll worry about. Uh, we got uh, something on someone called Leopold Fontanelli. He seems like he's involved with some kind of well, that, exploration. That was the character that uh, that uh, uh, Brent, Brent, Brendan got tangled up with. Yeah, yeah, he was. He's a. I'm pretty sure he's a fascist as well. The head League of, of Forgotten Men. Yeah, he's the head of that organization. Yeah. The these letters they, they they seem to confirm everything that you've been spending so much time devoted to, Mister Van Der They 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 talk about lineages and and, and civilizations. Below, this, this 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 seems like everything they talk about in your meetings. It's a strong clue. Then. None of that is real, though. Well, it's absolutely real. Mr. Van der Van is not one to be taken in by foibles. 
Yeah, but it's all nonsense. But, but, 80, yesterday morning, I, I would have entertained such a, a healthy debate, but given what we've just seen, it's not unreasonable to assume there are worlds beyond this one. But we can see that, obviously. We have the scars to prove it. I, it doesn't matter. Look, what's... Okay, we gotta focus on what's important here. Something killed Percy Longhorn, yeah? Some kind of cat thing, yeah. I mean, you shoot off the cat that we saw there. Yeah, but I, I don't think that was what... That wasn't what hurt it. It was, it was the, the mist. You remember? You, yeah, that was what that was what came out. That was what what that that's what that's what killed him. It's. I mean, it was it was Argus's desk. Presumably, he's the progenitor of the mist, and he's he's behind all of this. At the end, he it says that he found the cat. Didn't that lady that you spoke to uh, for no reason? She said something about his power. People must believe that he's some kind of. He, you know, has some kind of abilities. He he publicly claims to be able to cast you back to past lives. That's his occupation. Well, yeah. Okay. Mister Mister Sterling, uh, Mister Mister Sterling said that he had powers. That's why he was visiting him all the time. Well, we found another piece of paper that says Brennan Sterling is being eliminated somehow. The the, the note, the names, the list of names. But his name's crossed out. It doesn't necessarily mean eliminate. Wow. What if these oh. names? What if these names are past lives? That would make sense. Ooh. Well, then, who is Brendan Sterling's previous... Brendan Sterling was known as Keth Nas. Uh, rolls off the tongue. Uh, mm. I'm going to add these other two like this to, to, our, to our board. Yeah, go ahead. I wouldn't mind reading that long one. Go ahead, I will grab that. There you go. Uh, uh, certainly... Put him next to Argus. Or, if you want to take a shot, you could also add the circumstances of the finding. Or you, you guys got to leave it to make your own notes. Certainly, the next person... If to continue the investigation, the next person we have to talk to is almost definitely Fontanelli. Well, we don't have his picture, so I can't. Mm, yeah. I can't do any detective shit. But well, we, I got it. I got it. The last, <laughs> time, Where is the last time we walked blindly into into something, hey Rachel, it on our it? system. No, no, put it up backwards. Oh, okay, and then you can flip it. You can flip it over. Yeah. Okay. We'll that's do that. A nice. That's a good idea. Do not look at it. <laughs> what is he? Is he that disturbing? Though? Do not look at I'm it. No looking. You turn it over. It's just a cat. <laughs> <laughs> or it's, um, or it's one of us. <laughs> yeah, actually, that'd be, that's no, what no, I was thinking. No, not your character. Characters. It's, it's Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's hideous. No, no. <laughs> what foul beast? Um, well, this is this is another lead. You see, uh, Brennan Sterling is the second last one to be crossed off. So, what if we try to find Ivy oh, yeah, Tinsdale nice. and, uh, or, or, or Hugo Northridge? That's that's a brilliant idea. All I know, I can't uh, all excellent ideas in continuing the investigation. However, I I think before we continue the investigation, we should remove the. Uh, Danger to society that is proposed by the the thing that killed Percy. What well, the mist? Yeah. Or the well, yeah. I mean, the, the destroy the desk. The, the space cat, strictly speaking. But you're right. The the mist and the desk will add that. that can I make a be... Can I make a theory? Hmm. Um. I suspect. I suspect. I suspect. I suspect that, uh, look, in the greenhouse, there's a bunch of strange plants, and they're all yellow, and that mist was an oddly yellow color. Look, I, I, I'm no naturalist or anything, but, you know, that can't be a coincidence. Well, Why would he have all of these plants be the same? He's some sort of hallucinogenic... I, I, I mean, know. it makes basic sense. Where would he... Where was he getting the mist? I mean, if it's did you, you highly didn't... dangerous stuff, you'd want to get it nearby. I'm just saying, I personally would like to destroy those flowers so that they can't be used again to harm anyone else. On that note, before we say anything else, we do need to go back to the house. Yeah, okay. Your turn. 
Oh, uh, well, uh, I, I'm not sure if you heard, but the, um, the, the, the hospital staff have been taking very good care of you, but uh, it, it wouldn't be optimal if they were to find out exactly what happened. So the official story is a, a hunting rifle, a hunting shotgun went off and um, uh, tragically took the life of, of, of Mr. Long, Mr. Longhorn, but uh, you two pulled through just fine. What they don't know is uh, the, the, the gardener um, did, in fact, suffer an accidental wound from a, a hunting shotgun and um, is also both no longer with us and locked in the garden shed. An accidental wound from, a, from a, a weapon? Yes, and that is the truth. Do you want to make a psychology check? I would love to. Wow. I don't know if I want another truth. Yeah. Well, that is the truth. Oh, I actually failed. Okay. And my psychology is pretty good. I know. Yeah. I think you go with it. I think it is the truth. Yeah. It was an accident. Yeah. yeah. That, yes. Look, the, the truth. <laughs> I, I Regardless. The truth. And the truth. There's the truth and the rest of the truth. Yeah. For, um, for okay. What? And and why are the police not aware of that? Oh, uh, we, we just didn't. It would interfere with the investigation. Yeah. We could get tied up in tape. We could... We wouldn't be able to keep anyone safe. There's a dead body, you're telling me. Where, where's the... Where is it? Locked in the gardener's shed. Safe and sound. Okay. A, a, as far as anyone can tell? For now. Gardening, as I said, a lonely profession, you know? If he didn't have a lady in his life and, and his job wasn't going so well, maybe maybe August docked his pay or something, he, uh, he could have seen no more way out. You want to destroy himself. those plants? Inside. And if you want to be completely Look. safe... The man who planted them is also dead. I can understand the logic there. However, the taking of a life is not something to be brushed over so easily. Okay, Mr. Van de Van? I, uh, I understand that it was an accident. Yes. But, uh, and at the moment, we may have to look past it. Uh, if we are to continue the investigation, it would probably be best if the detective in charge did not find that body. Oh, oh. Sp speaking of whom, he, he, he seemed to know you. Did we get his name? We did. I got his card. Yeah, Detective Anders Kresdick. Detective Anders, Anders Kresdick. Kresdick. Does that ring a bell? It would. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, I, look, in like you are aware of one another. You're yeah. not close friends or anything. He works over on the New Jersey side more than enough. Liaising back and forth. He's a New York, detec a New York detective, though. When oh, Vandervan's yeah. name was thrown around, he was tied into it. You're aware of him. He's not a bad dude. He's pretty lazy. Okay. okay. But he will do everything. It will probably just take him time. He'll stuff around. He'll drag this case out because he won't get given another one until it gets resolved. And then he'll. And then he also he will want to succeed. He'll want the you know the good job detective on his record um, but he'll probably take a while doing it but if he's lazy I might be able to convince him to pass it over to my department that's uh, true if you, have an, if you have an easier case for him yeah, I, I, might, I might see if I can convince him of that you're in homicide right? Uh, I'm in special cases. Oh, special. This is a special case. This is case. a pretty special case. It actually is kind of up my alley, you know. I mean, after all, the, the man that has unfortunately passed away, not the gardener, the Argus was oh, yeah. associated. Patrick? No, uh, not Argus. Uh, Long one was associated with Argus, who is a mystic of some kind. And of course, the foremost uh, heir to the shipping company of New York uh, getting involved. Well, that that's a that's a very special case indeed. Yeah, sure. Um, Needs to be treated with tact. Yeah, yeah, that's quite. And I can think of no better detective. You can put my name on that. You know, if I got tangled up in a case, I would want Dick 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 Nienoff Martino on yeah. the job. Yeah, cool. <laughs> All right, <laughs> uh, I'll go talk to the detective and see what I can do. Um, the other thing I want to say is uh, the last time we blundered into something, we got ourselves in a lot of trouble. Once they, you know, they, these people have traps. They're prepared. It's it's dangerous. Once we've dealt with the situation with the gardener, we should we should catch our breath. There's a lot we can we can do. Maybe we can maybe we can talk to people. Maybe we can pull on leads. Maybe we can find find out more about the things written in those notes before we go 
before we go after the league. I, I, I agree. I don't think we should be going anywhere near them right away. Can I make a wild uh, guess? If we've seen some strange things already, and you know these people, they're clearly uh, they're clearly involved in devil worship or black magic. Of course, Jose is very superstitious, so this is all in stride. They're up to something. They mentioned vessels in the note, finding vessels, and this league is full of uh, they're finding vessels for your countrymen. And this league is full of wounded soldiers. Maybe they're trying to find vessels for the wound, for the for the for the dead. Your transplanted countrymen. It seems like it's already happened. Just a thought. I suspect that just means they're in the wrong. Uh, they've been transplanted, taken out of one place and put in another. They're Would just... you say that about someone that's been moved? Yeah, absolutely. Wouldn't it be like relocated? No, or... transplanted. He's been taken out of this location and put into this location. Uh, I feel like we were transplanted ourselves just early as a day. That is also true, I understand. Maybe that's the reference. We can tear apart each word of that letter. Well, I guess that's the intention. Yeah, we End can. Of sentence. We should. <laughs> yeah, tra- transplanting. What? What if you know, we came back to our bodies? What if there's people on the other side in that strange place that can't come back? Hopefully not. And what happened to to Percy? I mean, he's dead, but he didn't die here. Well, that's because Nick saved him. Saved what was left of him, anyway. I didn't save anyone. He. Well, I saw he you. Died, you were though. carrying him. And no, I failed him. Oh. Just like I fail everyone. It's you... okay, man. I mean, it was, it was rough on all of us. It was... Yeah, but... I don't know. Was... You died trying to protect him. You, you did a lot that. better than, than me and this one over here. We just ran. You should be proud of what you did. Even if you basically almost died. Yeah, but I still failed. And I'm gonna have to look his... I'm gonna have to look his mom in the face or something and tell her what I did at least. That, that's long that way away. Um, no, I don't think it should be. No, it well, won't be that hard to track down his next of kin. I gotta, I gotta go talk to whoever. We may as well go meet with them. We can oh, give you them don't, your I, I think story. You don't have to come. You don't, it's, I think you should go. Vandervan? Our priority is getting back to Argus's house and making sure that no one else is caught up in that mess. That is probably, yes. That's the most important thing to do right, All right now. So that's let's we'll look do. at that. Let's look at how we can do that. I don't think Jose or and I are in any shape to do anything tonight, at least. I am about not 6 PM or major so. wounded. Can I her- Herculeanly try and like throw myself over to my suit and start putting it on? Yeah, I mean, it's actually, I was just Checking out pulp rules as well. Major wounds aren't a thing in pulp, so we're just gonna scrap that. Oh, I know. So, boosh, yeah. Go on. What? No major wounds. Also, rather than a D three, you healed a D four, so you add a point. Um, can I use music healing something? Else? Uh, if you want to check yourself in for a while, yes, you can. Mm. <laughs> they're going in also mention that, that we both and the two of you will both gain a D four for the oh. healing you've undergone so far. Okay, so we restored to two for, to because we were getting Because of what happens, then you go up at D4 for being checked in. And you will heal more, just natural healing each day. But as long as you stay check in, it will be more. How much health do you have, Mr. Van Der Ten. 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 Right, I've got eight, so I'm not far off you. Excellent. Yeah. You're catching up. Um, at but- three. I want to check myself in. Yes. Just to get some so you're also have to... penicillin. So the two of you are also currently being told you need to stay here overnight. Um, You'll need to get basically that waved. I'm pulling on my suit. I'm not saying I have to help Mr. Van Der Van. No, 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 no. We, we'll all stay. That's fine. On the other hand, though, Nick, you're probably aware now is the best chance to get to the scene before it gets cordoned off. Mm-hmm. Now, it it would be true. to go tonight. Yeah. And it is probably pushing about seven. What did I say? Six or seven p.m. now. But uh, I could, uh, I could talk to the detective in charge though, while the three of you sort that out and make sure that he doesn't. 
go to the scene of the crime while you guys are there. Well, if your impression of him is that he doesn't have the strongest work ethic, then maybe we can rely no, on him not true. doing that till tomorrow anyway. That is true. That's a good That's a good point. Detective Duantino, though, if you think you can be more useful here, we don't need it all to go to the, to, the, to the scene. No, last time we split up, two of us died, I think. So let's stick together, I think. If you say so. All right, I guess we're, we're heading out tonight. All right, so you're going to check yourselves out. Uh, I'm going to need someone to make a roll to basically persuade the nurses that they're going to be checked out in the care, they're going to be in good uh, hands. Can, can I just leave? I put my suit on left, right, and leave. All right, yeah, can you give me a stealth check? Sure. <laughs> I'll meet you outside, Mr. Fentiman. Oh, fine. Um, thank you. Ah, rubbish. Can I push the roll, please? <laughs> yeah, you go out the window. Sure, let's do it. When has pushing rolls been bad for us? You are a couple stories up, but yeah, absolutely, go for it. Hey, what's it worth? What, 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 are we talking about fall and take a bunch of damage? Are we talking climb check? Uh, Yeah, go go, go push with climb, and yeah, fall and take a bunch of damage. Not a shitload, but damage. Okay, let's do it. Yep, fine. I'm fine. <laughs> so <laughs> and he goes, he goes like, see you on the other side. Goes up the thing, and nurse is coming. Goes, turns back into the room, and has like, see you on the other side. He's clambering out the window and <laughs> down, moving down, down the, the outside. Do so you yeah. want to sneak out? I was just gonna. He's already up. done it. He's, he's already, <laughs> as you're like, I was just gonna. He's out to the car. Uh, yeah, I'll just play down the nurse administrator and, and yeah. say, oh, uh, I'm so sorry to say, um, uh, myself and and uh, Miss Detective DiMartino and. Um, Mr. Castillo, uh, <laughs> are just going to step out for a few hours. Uh, perhaps a, a spot of dinner. Uh, they'll be back before long, I'm sure. Also, you're playing on bringing them back. Okay, go for it. Make, it, yeah. make a charm check. Uh, 24 is six, 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 two. Well done. All right, yeah, no no sweat. They're they're happy to, <laughs> to, to wave it. It wasn't, you know, it was it was a suggestion at the end of the day. Um, and if they come back tonight, they can still be checked in and looked at in the morning. Um, they will also extend the courtesy to you. If you want to, like, if you want to come back tonight, they can look at you. Yeah, they can say, you don't nice. look too great. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be nice, yeah. All right, and the four of you are out. I'm <laughs> Three down, of you come down. You're the hidden car. behind the car. The driver's looking down at you. Um, you can oh, all does anyone get into the car. Hell yeah, you do. Why? We does. have a driver. Yeah. Send him home. It's t- He's had a long day, you know? Make sure he gets a good night's sleep. It's He doesn't need to be here. Yeah. That's are it. Sure? I agree with that. It's not such a bad thing to have backup, is it? No, I think it's time he went home. You know, he's had a long day. He's clearly been working hard. You should give him a bonus and send him home. And you know what? He probably doesn't need to come back to work for a few days at least. And remember, Mr. Van Van, I work on your car personally with my dad, so I'm never going to damage it. And if I do, I'll give you, like, 20% off your next service. (laughs) I really want to fucking drive this car and never get to drive the nice one. You can't argue with savings. <laughs> uh, Patty, go home to your family. You're fine. Are you, you sure, sir? Yeah, yeah. It's it's just a, a nice uh, night on the town with some good friends. Uh, you should have a relaxing time, too. It was a bit of a traumatic day, I'm sure. I appreciate that, sir. It's just that... Well, we're in New Jersey. <laughs> and I was really hoping to... It's fine, I'll take the train. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah it, there are ferries. Well, drop yeah, it yeah, there's a ferry. Just uh, like... Here's some money for the ferry. Uh, right. What's the fee these days? Uh, $15? $20? <laughs> yeah, $20. Uh, $20. What can yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank, thank you, sir. Uh, uh, well, I'll pass the keys to you. <laughs> Miss Chung, uh, any pockets? Thank you again, and uh, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow morning, bright and early. And he, he's going to head off <laughs> the long way home by the ferry. Um, Edie, you can slide in the passenger seat. Oh, sorry, nope, driver's seat. It is a nice car. It is not particularly sporty or fast, but hell is it a smooth ride, and God does it store champagne in the cooler. And suits right. in the back. Good, now that we've gotten rid of the witness. You can roll, <laughs> down, you can roll down the in-between thing mm-hmm. so that you can hear them from oh, the yeah, back cool. as well. Can I sit in the front as well? Yeah, go ahead, I just man. don't want to sit with Mr. Van Der Van at the <laughs> sure. moment. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 yeah. I mean, you've gotten changed, right, into less bloody clothes? Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And you just bundled them in. I was throwing them out and bundled them into a thing. Yeah. Well, I imagine it's evening wear, right? This calls for a tuxedo. Oh, yeah, you got the tux. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. As you're coming around to the passenger seat, and I'll go around to the back seat with Mr. Van Der Van, uh, I'll start with something to say, um, it was a very good decision getting the driver to leave. You're you're very good at being a criminal. I mean that very earnestly. Yeah. Thanks, I guess. Uh, It's not... 
Look, let's just make sure as many people as we can don't get hurt by this, all right? So we'll need uh, something to burn the plants with, some fuel, I don't know, what burns what. Where are we? We're in um, New Jersey. Jersey. You are going south. Jersey City. I think the map is out. Are we in Jersey City or are we? Uh, A, just at the top of where Hoboken. My shop is not that far from here. Oh, shit, true. Motor yeah, you're actually. Oil. Actually, you would probably be Excel quite or... close to your house. Yeah, let's just swing by the shop. Wait, are you in Jersey? Yeah. We're all in Jersey. Oh, like, yeah. my you parents up. Some. You guys want dinner? My mom will make us some, like, stir fry. Ooh. <laughs> I never had that before, but it sounds pretty good. I, yeah. Stir fry. You, you say, <laughs> is, is it you, you fry it? I like, yeah. you, tell, you, you stir. They stir <laughs> or they fry? You, you tell me, uh, okay. The well, semiotically I, perfect meal. It's like, a, it's like pasta, but Asian. I kind of like it. Yeah, I get it. All right, let's do this. Um. No, 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 we got we got a job to do here. Let's do it. Okay, uh, we need some we need some fuel, some light. Burn that down. Then we need to get the body. We need to bury the body somewhere. It's ain't gonna be found. Uh, look, I'm a detective. People, Jeez, I, people I know. Will come running if we burn something on the property. Yeah, yes. the last thing we if should do. If it's dangerous and we. Burn Do you have it. another idea of how to destroy it without burning it? Could we, we just take all the flowers and load them into the car? And then yeah. we burn it somewhere else? It was a greenhouse. Yeah. Along house. with the body! Done! It was a greenhouse worth of... Like, it would be like this thing filled the interior with, with flowers and plants and things. Maybe we just need to cut the stems, uh, make it look like they all died. Or poison them. What, what do you mean? Well, I, they, I, well, as long as they're dead, surely they're, they're not a threat. No, the... The stuff's still in there. It has to be. No, we gotta burn it. We gotta get rid of it. It's gotta be burned. Okay, I, well. Or destroyed in some way. I, I don't we, know. Well, no. uh, uh, burning it. I don't like that thing in a gaseous form. Maybe we could oh, yes. cut the whole thing, rip out the buds, crush everything, smear it around, Fuck. clean it, clean the place up. What if we mash it into a powder and stick it in our nose? <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you go, ah, oh, damn, but yeah. I went, oh, yeah, like, fuck. <laughs> Which side are you on? I was looking for that. You're going right back to the space gas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's... Enjoy good... satin, asshole. <laughs> okay. So. So. What if we... I think we're back to stick it all in a bag. Okay, how, that's Why a don't lot. We just... How much is a lot? Mm, uh, it would fill the interior of the car. All right, like, you just... wouldn't have seating room for the two. We're near, we're near your garage. Can we get another car? Let's get a pickup truck or something. Yeah, okay. You drive us over and drop us off. Then you go and pick up a truck and while well, we get everything ready. Mm -hmm. I can do that. Yeah. Well, we would uh, have a truck. Your, your house between Leopold's, or sorry, Ferdinand's place, is a decent hoof. That's like an hour and a bit. Although late at night when the streets are empty, it'll be faster. It's, it's all doable. I'm just saying this is not like a 20 minute dip. This is like you go, this is like you spending a couple hours getting back and yeah. forth, probably. That, that'd be worth it. Do it once, if do it right. If we can do it all in one go, we can take it somewhere. I think it's a good idea. Uh, I think Nick was right, though. I, I think it's worthwhile us sticking together. Just to make sure nothing untoward happens to anyone while they're I agree. For better or worse. Whose side are you on? <laughs> My own damn side. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I agree. For better or worse, we're all in this together now. I mean, there's a dead body on our hands. Well, we're all complicit in that in one way or another. But anyway, let's all right. uh. All right, let's head off. So the plan is to go to your place first, get a pickup truck and some spare supplies and things. Yeah. Or are you just gonna go straight to there? No, I think we'll no, go we'll straight, straight there. We'll get yeah, straight like there. Some tools that we can use to dismantle. All right. As you begin to drive, heading uh, north now, winding through traffic, um, you pull away from the ambulance, uh, and uh, takes you probably pushing towards eight. Um, when you get towards the what? Uh, oh, just, if I could do a little, little yeah, thing yeah, yeah, while we're it. sitting in the back of what we all get in, the car pulls away, and when those two are firmly focused on the road, I'll reach in and I'll hand uh, your two slugs. Uh, oh, your reload. Thank you. Oh <laughs> shit! No, that's like, I, I just need the one. I just need the one. That's for later. Thank you. No. I didn't see any of that. Yeah, that's <laughs> great. I really like driving? that. I'm putting on my driving goggles. <laughs> yes. Yes. yes! I can't see! Oh my god, they're crash. terrible for I driving. I can't see! <laughs> Shit! Surely they're your crop. Get out of the <laughs> road! <laughs> Someone put a giant cog on the road. <laughs> I'm gonna hit it. We didn't we did turn right. Light? Give me five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, uh, you guys get oh, back. Oh, he's a truly obnoxious. <laughs> you guys get back to Argus's place by about eight, pushing nine, just as the yeah uh, sun is beginning to set. 
Um, there is no police presence at the moment, but there is the neighborhood watch of a bunch of nosy people who are all looking through their curtains, and a couple of people are actually... A lot of people seem to be walking their dogs tonight. Just happens to be they're also walking right past the front just so they can crean in windows and see if anything's going on. Um, uh, no one there at the moment. It seems to me we could, you know, put up a charade that the, 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 the case has already been transferred to you. Uh, you. You're just reinvestigating the scene with the help of the witnesses. Yeah, I got this. Yeah, I can do that. Well, that might um, mean that the police know that another policeman was here. You're already tied to things. It likely means that they'll come to you. As long as you can talk down the other cop before anything... There's no cops here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, no, the I'll other guy. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go see him in a sec. Yeah, yeah. They don't need to know. Yeah. I, um... I... So, we them? already stopped by... No. The, oh, we didn't? That. We went straight there? Yes. To Argus's? Oh, okay. But we got the pickup truck. We were gonna go on the way. Oh, I thought we clarified. Sorry, uh, uh, that's what I was saying. I thought I was like, you'll go via, and you're like, no, 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 we'll just go. No, yeah, we we'll get the right. truck and the tools. Yeah, and, and then, then we are going yeah. straight to the pickup truck. I think was the which oh, is not, uh, which is an that's unhelpful clear. Phrase. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Now, didn't we say we were gonna go via? I don't know. Yeah, we're going via the pickup I was pretty, truck. Yeah, the wording the, was... It's not, it's not a big deal. We'll just rank on I, I, The wording was very questionable. And it's not like it's being recorded. So <laughs> I'm going to find out. And if I was right, you'll hear from me. If I was wrong, we'll just drop this and never bring it up again. <laughs> oh, um, cool. The old DM strat. <laughs> yeah, classic. Uh, yeah, so you're going back, going by Edie's place. Um, Edie, can you give me a luck roll for what cars are currently in the shop and being worked on? Oh, uh, do we do like tiers of successful luck? Yeah, go yep. for it. It must be a three. All right, yeah, it definitely. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, yeah, There's right. a it's, it's, it's whatever's car. perfect. Yeah, <laughs> like it's a, it's like a large van, a huge something that you could fit tons of stuff in. It's just yeah, been okay. it's just been fixed up. They are picking it up tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Uh, I'll do, it back. Uh, and are you just gonna take it, or are you gonna have to? Because your dad runs it. Are you gonna? It's like eight o'clock. He's just he's knocked off already. Well, so you're just taking it. Yeah. All right, the keys are on the thing. You take those, start it up, and. I'll explain it later. It's fine. Is anyone else able to drive? Well, cool. So I, I have can two cars. Sail. I've got basic, but I see that. Base. No, look, I'm just flagging. If anything gets into anything, yeah, you cannot drive two cars. Yeah, I, I think we have to just take the one, the van, basically. It's a truck. It should be fine. Fits everything. Yeah, it's a it's dual a, cab, and there's the space behind. It's the perfect it is car. For car. Yeah. Well, you, you, drive? you can you can drive, can drive. and uh, for, on Mr. twenty, you guys have the capacity to drive. I'm just flagging. If it gets into a chase or anything, you're stuffed. Mm. You, why, why don't why don't you drive the van, Mr. Van der Ven's in the front, and we'll go in the we'll go in the back. Yeah. Or we can take the other car as well. Uh, this car, the, I this, think, this I think, is bigger. Think, Let's I take think, the one. Let's take the one. The yeah. car is the van is probably big enough for everything. Yeah, yeah, I agree. All right, so it's a van. You pull one of the sliding doors back, and you all hop into the front. I think that um, I think we've all got a very modern interpretation of what a van is. It's it a big car. Yeah. No, it's 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 Rachel's cool, big. weird, weird <laughs> engineering mechanic coming into play. A van, <laughs> <laughs> powerful. Yeah, it's like yeah. it's yeah, it's like a like a truck, like yeah, a little milk truck. truck kind yeah, of yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, or like, like a no, post no. office van. It's like, a mini like, van. You push the button, the door opens. <laughs> if your seatbelts aren't on, a light blinks, I've and there's that. juice boxes in the sheets. It's vaguely like one of those like army kind of trucks where you feel it's in the back. It's like one of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done some weird science. It has a novelty horn. <laughs> what tune? What tune does it play? Can we think of anything aptly in a, uh, inappropriate? Sound like the moon, baby. <laughs> All right, um, you get in the van, pull out, and begin to head further back north. So by now, when you get there, it's properly nightfall. Yeah, we're decades um, shy of the pussycat dolls. Like <laughs> um, it is it is dark, but a couple of people are occasionally looking out the windows. Basically, you have an audience, but if you're sneaky enough, they shouldn't notice. Now, the van pulling up will draw attention for a while. Do you park a few streets down and then walk up? What's the what's the go? So we have to be close. Is there any way to park? Like, what does the house back onto? Uh, probably it's parklands. Right? Well, no, it's it's like, like a cul de sac. Then it's probably just another cul de sac in the area. There is a set of cliffs that look down onto the the river. Actually, hell, let's put it to the back of that. So it, it, it's the house, some shrubbery, then uh, cliffs leading to the to the, the river behind it. Okay. So nothing. So we can happen. potentially come in from behind. You'd have to drive through a couple of people's backyards, but sure. Uh, no, let's go. Let's go through the front. I can. I can be like. Um, we're collecting. We can evidence. just say yeah, we're collecting evidence. We're just doing it at night, just so as not to disturb people. That kind of thing. Okay. We'll be quiet. Um. Yeah, I'd like to get out. 
Yeah. I like to go around holding up my badge in the air. No one's there currently, but so there's you don't need to dissuade anyone, but as soon as you pull up, the same woman that saw William earlier pulls herself out of this. She's clearly waiting for something to happen and comes hurrying down the steps towards you. Yeah, I hold up the badge and I point to her and I go, uh, New York NYPD. Um, is, is this is this a crime scene? An active one? Uh, we're just collecting some evidence. Evidence? Uh, what for? What's the crime? Look, there's been an accident. There I, has been no explicit. I was crime a witness. Created. I was a witness. I, I can. I can. I'd like to go on record. All right, I'm gonna t- to take your statement. Okay. Um, um, we'll have to. I'll have to do that uh, inside though. Let uh, let's let me let me head inside. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, no, I'm happy to go inside. I, I yes. She seems quite. Enthusiastic about the idea. Okay. Um, and she begins uh, talking. She, she uh, Mr. Vanderbilt. No, she like she's staying with you. She yeah, is but, like, telling can you I, her can statement. Can I like lean over my shoulder? Yeah. <laughs> like, I, 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 think, I, think, I think you mean go inside to her house. Is yes. Oh, house. she wanted to go inside the. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be like. All right. Let me. No, let she me doesn't. Inside, I'll have yeah, a cup of tea. She's we'll kind of excited to see. She's kind of excited to go in there now. Can you give me a um persuasion? Yeah, go persuasion. Okay. It's an active crime scene, lady. Yeah, you can't go into an active crime scene. Why? Because it's a crime scene. Because it's a crime scene, I'm telling you. She's not, she, yeah. (laughs) Did you succeed? No, I rolled a 75. All right, Um, she's very, she's happy to give a statement. You can just tell her to stuff off. But she does not want. She does not can want to I, leave further. She wants to stay here, and she goes, "No, no, no! I, I can stay on the street. I'm not in the crime scene. I'm next to it. Listen, what I've seen is very important, Mister Van Der Ven, the famous, the socialite. Um, he was here. Can I double down and intimidate? Yeah, uh, uh, and put it push. Yeah, pull um, your gun out. Put it to the back of her head. It's got a fine trigger. This gun. <laughs> I would like to pull out oh, my no. badge. Ah, yeah. boo. Point to the badge and say, no. "You know what this badge says? This badge says." Do whatever the fuck I say. <laughs> Get in the house, lady. Go for it. Push with intimidation. Here we go. Somehow. Fumble. <laughs> yeah, that's a 97. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you do anything right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> she. So first of all, she makes your badge number. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously. Because uh, <laughs> yeah. why would anything go right? And then she for us? goes, help! Police brutality! <laughs> Oh my god. Help! Yeah. And I think, you know what, it's 10 20. Yeah. Let's leave that disaster for next session. Oh, okay. oh. Uh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cthulhu. Yeah. Well, that was fun. Alright, awesome. Are we, are, we, are we still alive? Are we still up? Yeah, everyone's alive. Uh, yeah, we're still alive. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll kill it in a moment. Sorry, I just need to take a, yeah, a brief break. Oh. Alright. Thank All you, right. everyone, for joining us. It's been um, an absolute for, pleasure. Yeah, we, we, we saw some some cats. We jumped across some rocks. We killed a guy, and now we're... Uh, About to being, make it a hat trick. Yeah, we're, we're aggressively interrogating a witness that we do not have jurisdiction over. Yeah. Um, we will be back mm. next week. Same time, same place, etc., etc., etc. So make sure you tune in to see what the hell happens. In the meantime, though, uh, tomorrow... Very early our time, but very reasonable everywhere else in the world. Mike Mason's first live game is going to be being streamed, so make sure you check that out. I will not bore you with the details. They're below us in the Twitch channel, but I think they are something like 8 p.m. GMT. GMT, 11 a.m. over in the States, and six, uh, sorry, 7 a.m. here in Australia. So make sure you check that out. Um, the video here will be live. Oh, no, not live, but will be on YouTube um, shortly on Friday. Um, but apart from that, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next week.